that, Dave. Hopefully you can hear me. Thanks a lot, man. weird your first attempt didn't work huh it just says joining still that's weird yeah very bizarre hopefully everyone's well tonight what's up michael you're all good streams five nights is a work week from hell so if I sound tired I, it doesn't sound anything like it's going to be on fancy mapping show Friday night trust me <laughs> going to be a brutal week is this stream one stream one of five yeah but um, I set my schedule up before something happened with real work you know I got a meeting I got to go to and it's about two hour drive each way it's early tomorrow morning I mean yeah you know, it's just it's gonna be but hey it's life real life real life stuff so we'll make them fortunately uh, Tim's running his Saturday morning so all I have to do is sit there and just you know produce it oh well that's nice it's not bad Everyone's doing well. Rock rolling in here. Sure, Mike. Sure, Taryn. No problem. Good to see everyone. Did as much studying as I could. I should have some new, uh, well, I always say this. I should have some new ads coming. Should. So. Let's hope. Some new stuff. Sure. Of course, Tan, no problem. Of course. We don't know where Anna is. The ad music's always horrible. I, I, I think it's Twitter, Twitch or something there, Dave. I, I, don't, I don't know. It's weird. Maybe it's a way to stop piracy or something. Uh, I think I'm all caught up. Should be a 
fun start to the week. Yeah, so fun start to the stream week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, a Powerball's not enough, Dave. So. How about uh, Mario Billionaire? Yeah, maybe. What's up, Bill? Hey, Kayla. No, it's not, uh, it's not Sunday. We're good. No issues. Everything's resolved. Whatever they did, they fixed, or whatever I did online, who knows? Who knows what it was? It's just, I've never seen anything where I have downloaded no, no upload. Very strange. Very, very strange. Hey, Emma. Yeah, that is so sorry for being late. Um, That's okay. Need to log in here. Just chatting up a little Twitch. bit. Here. Yep. And the internet works the way it's supposed to work. Yeah. Be. Like, yeah. Woo, everything's working. Yeah, but then some that was, yeah, thanks to everybody wanting to stay in and, and continue, so. Yeah, that was really great. Uh, did you see that? You saw the news about Ed, too, right? The news. Yeah. Yeah, good. I'll that. Yes, everything is going well. Yeah, we're early, which is good. I wanted to be extra. <coughs> I, I, I dotted the eyes across the T's on this one. To make yeah. sure <laughs> that there are all the other bizarreties. I'm doing, I'm doing well, Kill. I'm just going to be uh, burnt out after this week. But hey, I did this as um, a green leaf drink. As. Um, <laughs> Not tonight. Chinese is normally uh, our Friday night thing. It's only a Friday night thing here. Okay. At our house here. Um, I know it's this one. It's a uh, tough version. I brought it on myself. Uh. <laughs> Stuff, a lot of stuff has come together in the last two hours mm -hmm. today, so that sounds good. Another great mic idea for the show tonight, everyone. Mm -hmm. Well, how long I can keep it up? Sure, you can. You kept it up for years, so we have. Oh my gosh, I did so good, Anna. <laughs> you have kept it up. You've done cool <laughs> stuff for years now. We, we rely on you for I know, cool I, ideas here. I know. I was yep. thinking. Of, I still have. I still have Sunday night on the brain with the intensify sensation spell from Eric Boyd. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, that was funny. Yeah. Uh, that was so hysterical. Especially since you knew which spell it was. I knew that exactly was, what spell it was. <laughs> that was so beforehand funny. because I know Walt. Walt, go, that's his go-to. He loves his priestess of Sharis. It was a go-to right there. I knew exactly where it was going. Uh, Kass is not going to be discussed tonight because he's not a lich, Drash. So it doesn't matter. Well, he's kind of. Maybe we can mention him next to Beck now or something. So yeah. <laughs> so funny. Alrighty. I don't think I forgot anything. I think we're all good. I think, like, title's good. Sounds good. Zoom's working. I mean, it's just like something's, you know. I shouldn't curse myself. No. Oh. 
Well, I don't, I don't at all, um, Troy. So if you want to mention that at some point, because uh, I got to, I got to about nine or ten, and then I was like, I, I ran out of, I, I burn out. Dude, Troy, man, I get, I got, I can't do it all. I try, I really do. I can't. I, um, you know, I'm, uh, I don't have an S on my chest. I have a, what do I have on my chest? An LG on my chest, and it's not Living Greyhawk. So. Look, we're early. We're coming on three minutes early. So, good evening, everyone. Oh, they can't see you because I had already started. I had already started. You have when, the, um, there you go. Yeah, yep. I, I had already started the uh, stream before uh, before anyone copped in. So, welcome. Oh, my gosh. You're kidding? There isn't any. Good. You scare me there. I'm Jay Kaylor because I'm uh, <laughs> with me is Greg Mike Bridges and Anna Meyer as we start off a week of five straight days of streams. Wow. Um, so another Mike has Mike has been on a roll with with topics, and this mm -hmm. one was just as good as all the other ones we've had. Um, and uh, so we're gonna have a little discussion on liches of Greyhawk tonight. Got some things, got some resources. Brought some of the books. One of the, a couple of the books I, I the, of my old books downstairs. I touched and it burned me when I touched it, so I couldn't bring it up. You'll you'll see about them too. Um, just because you know we can't. There's some, some certain things I can't show. Um, but, uh, so I know we got iconic ones and we got some, some that are like in between and we got some that are really obscure, but you know, we'll, we'll talk about, we'll, we'll try and touch as much as we can in these, uh, two hours. So Mike, um, how'd you come up with this idea? It just popped in your head. <laughs> so I have this list of all the topics we've ever done. Yep. <clears throat> and I, uh, kind of went back to the beginning Right. That's all we did undead mm -hmm. of Greyhawk. And I thought, hey, okay, we probably didn't have enough time to cover just liches. So yeah. We just focus on the one type. Yeah. And this is good because most liches are personalities under themselves, right? And, and, and Greyhawk. And we got a whole bunch of them. So if you want to follow along in a place, Go to Cannon Fire, front page. Then you can go to the, on the left click, or I'll go back. Here you go, Cannon Fire. Oh, let's look at the Darling one up there. And you come down over here. You have your Cities of Earth, Adventures, Greyhawk, Postcards, and you go to Deadly Denizens. Boom. And you got, you got Liches, Vampires, Dragons, all sorts of fun stuff in here. And most of them will be here, and they're all color coded. So our liches are undead's blue. So, um, yep, what's up, bones? Uh, so that's where a lot of these are going to be coming from. And there's a lot on here. I have yeah. no. I, I, what's that, Mike? No, I'm just saying. Yeah, that list has been on Canon for a long time. Yeah, a lot the, of these. The map setup is new. Right. Yes. So, and you got all these great locations all over the place. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go from here. So Anna, what are your uh, initial, when you came up, initial thoughts on this topic? I was thinking a little bit like the, the uh, when we talked about deities and stuff, I'm, I'm not thinking so much about individual liches. I'm more like, okay, what is the role of liches in the world? What, where do they come from in history? How long have there been liches? What different type of lich? I, I went wild with, with ideas, so to speak. That wow. was be, because I knew you guys would look at modules and you will cover the old the ones. I didn't have to worry about that part. Oh. But but I was more thinking, okay, what is the role of liches? Why aren't liches ruling the world? Or maybe they have run the world and, and stuff like that. I got lots of, of uh, creative ideas and, and, and thinking of. And then there are some hidden liches in history, I think, that, that can kind of come out in the discussion if you, if you think creatively. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Um... I did that, but I didn't get as far as I'd like to. I didn't delve okay. super deep. I, I, you mm -hmm. know, I delved, but not not as deep as I would have liked to. But I got some. I got some. Did did my research. I'm assuming Mike uh, Mike probably has more. Like I have. There's so many in Ividy on dying, but I didn't. I don't. I didn't go there at all. So I'm hoping Mike. Um, <laughs> Dale, are you around? <laughs> uh, there is a slight chance. Slight. That we will have a, a special guest hop on if he's available. It's a possibility. It's not a definite, 
But I was talking with Eric Boyd, and he was really interested in this topic. He may hop back. Ooh, he may, hop, he awesome. may. Not definitely, yeah. but he may. So, um, yeah, we're going to uh, – we'll see on that. So a couple things before we really get in depth. Giveaways. I thought I had a Vampires and Liches from Necromancer Games, but I don't. I, maybe I gave that away already. But I'm, uh, we're going to do this to one person. We'll do Temple, Tower, and Tomb. And the What Evil Lurks. So there's some two good ones there. We'll do that for the giveaway. It's set up already. Um, and uh, please sign up. Uh, so there you go. Thank, thank you. I'll get that to you. No problem. Um, yeah. Uh, two good adventures there as, we're, as we, we start this up. Uh, but some quickie announcements. So we got, we know our next Super All-Star event just got confirmed literally a half hour ago. And that's going to be Saturday, May 21st. I couldn't get a banner up, but I I got a uh, I got an announcement for it, I believe. Uh, let's try that. Yep. So the next two drink minimum game will be there. I haven't. The special guest is not finalized yet, but the, all, the entire crew of two drink main crew two drink minimum will be there. So that'll be a uh, that'll be a good one. GD, we still owe you that book and that uh, code. Chuck is going to get beaten by uh, with a bunch of soap in a in a uh, pillowcase by me. Uh, if he doesn't get me, uh, he owes me two weeks worth of code. So please sit tight on that. A lot of other announcements. So, um, and it's liches. Um, I did my research and I don't know. You got, you got Vecna. Um, but what's the first, the uh, Vecna is probably the first, but the first I know from a module, uh, goes here, right? Let's start. Let's just start there. All right. Right, I mean, I, I, gotta start somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the original Tomb of Horrors, uh, original Tomb of Horrors, and my gosh, uh, if Katana's on, you know, this is his, this is wheelhouse, vast swamp, Sundi. What a, what a uh, deadly, deadly adventure this is. But even worse than that, uh, uh, you know, and they've taken a Sarak, who's, you know, they've taken him, and he's all, what is he? Well, He's all over the place now, right? He's been on gray hawk eyes, you know, as I, as I say. Um, he was a demi-lich in this, which is even worse. Yeah, that's the worst. It's yeah, even, he's so old that he's falling apart. So, so yeah, yeah, it's even it's even worse, right? Here, Here's, yeah. here's the last yeah. lying spot. <laughs> it's about him. So there's Eric. John. Hey, Eric, you're, oh, if you can, you're more welcome. So, uh, yeah, so we're just starting at the beginning. Um yeah, it, there's a skull, and there's uh, there's his final resting place. Uh, I won't give away any of the other things in in, in terms of who ours. Well, return to tomb of horrors. I don't know that much about, but I have the that's the box set I forgot. I have the entire box set downstairs on that. Uh, so um, and here's that. So he's in here too. That's Bruce Cordell's return to the tomb of horrors. Um, so he's available. Here's he's, a question. Yes. Do liches put gems in their eye sockets and teeth, or is that something that happens after they become a demi lich? <laughs> That's a good question because it, <laughs> seems, it seems to be in the art a lot. I think yeah. it's part of the process. It should be part of the process, I think. Yeah. You but it seems difficult to do that. With gem eyes, but yeah, it seems. Demi yeah, but it's well. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so so maybe they need to do that in in their lifetime or undead yeah. time, so to speak, is in order to turn right. demi lich. I don't know. Or maybe they need to do that to turn liches. So so maybe mm. and that's, that's a great question. question. Yeah, can you become <laughs> a lich by yourself, or do you need help, someone else to prep you, or something? That's another thing I didn't get to. There's a yeah. Dragon Magazine article. Uh, it's in the first twenty, oh. if I recall. I, it may, it's real early. I think it's in Best of Dragon Volume One about the Ooh. process for becoming a lich. Oh, okay. uh, man, I really did. I really. Uh, <clears throat> so, as I recall from Tui, which I imagine would be similar to this early dragon you're talking about. It involved creating, not, not only coming up with a receptacle for the, the soul, but there was also like a, a potion they had to drink. And that potion could kill the person. Yeah. You could fail at being a witch back then. Oh, man. Was it really? Yeah, it was poison. Yeah. And, you had a, and there was like a percentage chance of becoming a witch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you you have to die, but there's not a you, that you might never come back, so to speak. You might right. just die, and and nothing else. So. No, right. I'm sure in later editions it's like spend the XP, craft one or item, done. 
Yeah. So our 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 um, Daniel Boggs is saying that has great uh, Lords of Darkness. Oh my God, uh, the one E version oh. of that. Okay, has mm-hmm. it as well. Says that it's Leonard's adventure. Uh, Leonard's. Um, let, let me go through. I, I thought I had. Uh, I'm looking to see if I have it. I don't. I thought I had the entire comp. I don't know where I put it. An entire compilation of uh, uh, from Leonard Lakofka of all his Dragon Magazine articles. I thought it was right here, and I don't see it in my folder because uh, I, I would um, I would definitely uh, bring that up as well because you know uh, most of the chances you die in that in that um, in that uh, article that Leonard did, if I recall, Daniel, uh, it was pretty good. Do you remember? Do you know the number? What's up, Tim? So. <laughs> that's funny uh there's the other mysterious yeah so um i've never had anyone in my campaign who wanted to become a lich i've had people who want to become shades right but never a lich i don't know it's just it's so creepy but uh this the liches that uh, the first couple of liches we're going to talk about are, are, are so iconic. Is it Dragon Twenty Six? I don't think I have that on my computer. Yeah, about the it's, elixir. It's, yeah, yeah, Tim. It's so. Is it best of Dragon One, Two, or Three, Tim? It's, it, it's actually. I have. I have the, the article. It's in in the. Uh, I, I'm I'm writing down there. In the Le- in the Leonard R- in the Leonard compilation, right? Genius. R- yeah. No, oh, it's, I looked it's up Five the- E. It's yep. a Lord of Darkness. Uh, oh, oh, cool, Lords of Darkness. Dark. Thank you, thank you, Eric. Yep. <clears throat> so, what were you saying, uh, Mike, about Five E? How 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 did you become a uh, witcher? Five Yeah, they asked about Five E, and it's it's much the same. It says arcane ritual to make a phylactery. Then you uh, then you prepare the potion of transformation, and it's as part of the potion of this concoction, which is poison. It's a poison. Mixed with the blood of a sentient creature whose soul is sacrificed to the phylactery. So the wizard or whoever also has some, what I would imagine, powerful creature because you can just pull any old person off the street. And it's fused into this drink, which you drink down. So that's an interesting angle. You, know, you could have like a dragon. You know, the blood of a dragon. Of course, it even, it, or something. Yeah, it even says it. the ingredients. Uh, arsenic, belladonna, oh. blood uh, of various different kinds. There you go. And a heart and reproductive glands and, and two types of venom. There you go. I am embarrassed. Thank you, Daniel, for reminding me that I did not remember that Leonard did this too. Okay. Uh, I, I really so this am. is a recreation. This is probably just they took that article yeah. and right, reproduced it. In I, I, I really so. am. I really am embarrassed. Here we go. I can Excellent. imagine putting a lich recipe Arch on a five B product would be a no no these days. So here it is, blueprint for Lynch, and thank you for those yes. who gave me the information here. Uh, this is from Best of Dragon oh. Volume Two, oh, no. June nineteen seventy nine, number twenty six. <laughs> this is Leonard at his prime, right? So um, it says here, uh, you know, uh, you got to make a soul receptacle. You, uh, so you need magic jar, trap the soul, enchant an item, you know, and then uh, it comes down here. Here's Here it is. You said it, Anna. Arsenic, belladonna, mm-hmm. fresh face. Yeah. So they took it right from Len's article. Yeah, wow. Yep. They, they took that one and reproduced it in the um, in the um, yeah. Lords of Darkness for, for it's well, actually it's a Forgotten Realms uh, label product, but I think it's... <laughs> Generic homage to Len. <laughs> yep. Um, Blueprint for a lich. Yeah. Yeah, and you can see this dude is this dude's uh, well taking it, and who knows if he's if he's going to survive or not. Yeah. But here's here's the, the if, if items are mixed in the order given by light of full moon when the figure drinks the potion of it all at once the following things occur no effect other than all body hair falling out well that that would suck fall into coma <laughs> potion works feeble minded till the spell magic I don't know how yeah potion works paralyzed. Uh, for four to fourteen days, uh, you know, potion works. Permanently deaf, dumb, or blind. Only wish can regain the sense. Potion works. <laughs> deaf, dumb, but blind L- lich is not going to be fun at all. <laughs> Dead. Start over if you can be resurrected. That's pretty neat. So there it is. Boom. Yes. So um, and thank you, uh, Daniel and uh, Geek Dice for uh, giving. So me I guess it would behoove you to have another powerful cleric or wizard backing you up. 
Yeah, but liches are. I always think of liches as um, loners, right? I always yeah, get that feeling. That's true. I always get that Usually. feeling. Yeah, but it's cool to see that uh, Leonard is uh, still, um, you know, is thought up to this day. Uh, you know, and this is uh, <laughs> very, very nice. So, how long does it take for you know you to become uh, you know as we're going through two more horrors here? At the end, this demi lich, right? Uh, uh, how long are you lying there? A thousand years, maybe? Hundreds at least. Well, uh, demi lich is in Monster Manual Two, if I remember correctly. It's in. Yeah, it's I'm in going to check that. Showcant first. It's in the Showcant yeah. Addendum book. Then it goes into Monster Manual Two. Yes, you're correct. Absolutely. And there were some some um, age yeah. things there. So so yeah. Yeah. So and and the abilities here, the Demiurge's skull can be harmed only as follows. This is all right out of Monster Manual Two as well, almost verbatim. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I, I don't give out many plus four and plus five weapons anymore. You know, so uh, yeah. The, the, look, a dispel evil does five whole hit points of damage on the skull. I mean, it is almost. I mean, it's one of those things where it's almost impossible to destroy. So, and touching it is even really bad. I mean, because you can outright just kill people. So that's that's the demi lich itself, um, and and this this starts you off in the earliest times of history as far as published modules go. You got a serac, a serac, um and uh, and there it is. You know, uh, destruction earns a suggested well, only one hundred thousand experience points. So so very neat, very very cool. Okay, so that's the first one. And of course, you know which one is was which adventure series was he in uh, that he got pulled into uh, in the five E. Which one's that, everyone? Tomb Annihilation is that him? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, no one ever dies. Or so I hear. I never played through that one. So it's like it's like an R. A. Salvatore novel. They all come back. Eric says yes. <laughs> Very cool. All right. So that's first. Yawning Portal, too? They reprint S1 and tells Yawning Portal. Well, okay. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. It's a, By the way, another the, thing. The Tomb of Slightly Horror. Got a, got a new color shirt coming. Uh -huh. Polo. Yes. Yes. I'm living it up. Living the dream. So, Anna, what are you looking at? I'm I'm trying to find Demilich. I was probably wrong. No, I think no it it's a monster manual too. It's monster manual. It is a monster manual. Look under D. I I tried, but I didn't find it. Oh, then it. look under L. It could be Lich, comma Demi. Okay. Hmm. Well, anyway, yeah, I was yep. just I can't find it. But the so question where, where, where was, where am I looking? What I can't find causes it. Causes them to fall apart. So, yeah. So we'll see here. Yeah. Anyway, because, yeah. I don't think that's ever detailed anywhere. Eric, is it? What? You're Again, not bitter about that? <laughs> the two characters this. killed in Tomb of Annihilation. Wow. Damn. I'm looking at the red... I'm looking at the index here, and Demolich actually says F32, which is for Fiend Folio. Oh, but then we're both wrong. It's in Fiend Folio. Yeah, yeah well, I'm looking there, but I couldn't find it there either. 32. Yeah. So... It says this module is official at the tournament at Origins oh, 1. No, Holy no, schmolies. No, that's a monster manual too. It's near Demodond. It's in there. It's 32. It's between Dale and Demodond. Okay. Yep. I need to find it. Yep. Yep. So once again, if you're new, uh, if you're just on the stream, we're going to give away what oh, evil there we go. lurks yeah. and temple, Thank tower, you. and tomb. Both very cool. I was going to give away vampires and liches by Necromancer Games, but I, I looked in my massive hmm. pile and I don't have a reprint on that. All right. The realms already had a famous demi lich. Well, who who was that, Eric? As you uh, let us know on that. So Vecna is like, okay, well, I can outdo you. Vecna has stuff right in, right in the original Dungeon Master's Guide, the hot hand and eye of Vecna. Yeah. And, and then uh, you really we don't have pu published modules on Vecna, and I believe until Vecna lives. Am I correct there, or am I am I just am I just bl blatantly wrong on that? Vecna lives. That's all I know. Yeah. So, and we had Zeb Cook on about this. This is one of many second edition times where the entire Circle of Eight gets killed. 
And in this one, it's like a snap of a finger, right? Yeah. They walk. It's like they walk right into a trap. They look like Kevin Costner from uh, Pinnacle's Wolves on the Horse, just with their hands up, and yeah, they just get slaughtered in this adventure. And so, but um. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Becoming a lit demiurge. A lich can become a demiurge when they're longer needed to continually try. Lich must somehow learn the art of creating soul gems, and that's what the gems are, and replace eight small pieces of his body with them. Often the soul gems become jeweled eyes and teeth. Wow. Where's that from? Great. Terrifying Varagon. Thank you so very much. Where is Ounce. that noted? Uh, yeah, that's that is awesome. Thank you very much for that information. Yep. It is more about the henchmen. That is true, Amy. It is true. I was just being a smart ass like I normally end about the killing off everyone. You know. Okay, it's in Phantom Forgotten Realms. That's cool. It's good. Wherever it is, that's a good thing. So, hmm. yeah. So, with Vecna Lives, I thought I had this one here. Wait a minute. Do I have it here in my Vecna Lives? I do. Okay. I have it here. Ooh. So, there is a, another named, like there's a pseudo lich of, it's not really Vecna in this, right? It's another lich. You're talking about the one at the beginning? Yeah, well, yeah, he's like through the whole thing though. Is that a lich? Yeah, he's like, he's like hmm. a, he's like a lich with the hand and eye of Vecna, I believe. Yeah. Uh, well, that would be Halmadar the Cruel. Yes, Halmadar the Cruel. Absolutely. That's Eric. So I don't know if he's a lich or not. Yeah. We're going to get there, Eric. Uh, we got a whole background on him. He's like one of the hidden ones. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to get to him. It's one of my favorites, one of Tim's favorites, because it's got an iconic picture. So, yes, um, you got you got the hand and eye of Vecna here. So Vecna really doesn't exist at this point. It is actually someone who has the hand of eye of Vecna using it. There's the hand. And the, I guess there's the hand and the eye right there. Nice picture. Um, yeah. And so uh, you're right. This is, uh, this is an interesting adventure, but he's not really back yet. But then, now I don't know which of these is next. Is it, I think it's, I think it's this one next. I think Vecna Reborn is actually next. And this is actually a Ravenloft. Series? What's that? In the Vecna series? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's Vec the second one. Vecna Reborn is, and that's a Ravenloft adventure. Now we're going to get Vecna in actual physical form. <sighs> True. Right. Yes. He's going to be back in, in physical form in this one. So um, I just bought and downloaded this one because I didn't have mm -hmm. it, believe it or not, at all. Mm -hmm. um, so. I just got this off a drive through a couple of days ago. Uh, I don't know much about this. I've been scanning through it a little bit. Hey, Tefari, it's good to see you. So, uh, and and uh, there, here's the Citadel, and, uh, you know, he's got his whole uh, neat skull. Uh, you know, and the great thing about Ravenloft this era, you could do anything you wanted with it, yeah. right? You could put wherever you wanted. You could create your own new demi planes and new, you know, areas of existence. Um, uh, and you had you had a whole bunch of uh, you know different like cool lords, uh, vampires, a lot of, of wonderful things. Uh, I never, like I said, I never ran this. Has anyone run this out there? Let me know if you have. So, hey, Pinterly Kit, good to see you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. So, this is not the end though of the. Um, of the adventures with with Vecna in them in this early era, um, we're doing good. Apparently, we're talking about liches, and we got a good giveaway. So, and thank you so very much. Hang out, and uh, please feel free to sign up for the giveaway. Um, so, obviously, Vecna takes on a a, uh, a full form here. I leave this open so that I don't lose the link right here, and then we go to this one. And then Bruce Cordell is just going, and there's so many pieces of Vecna in this one. Now it's getting a little crazy. Die, Vecna, die. Now, we had a discussion on, and I think Eric will remember this if he's still on and all, where we're talking about the cod piece and all the other stuff of, of Vecna, right? We had this discussion Sunday night, Anna. 
Well, there's so many. If I recall, there's all sorts of different pieces of Vecna through, strewn throughout this thing. Mm -hmm. Head, nose. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All uh, toes, mm -hmm. kneecaps, mm -hmm. everything in this book. And die, Vecna, die. Um, so, just so I got both of these in real copy. Yep. Vecna lives and die, Vecna, die. I've had die, Vecna, die a while. Oh, uh, let's see here. If we can find some of these Vecna pieces here. I think they're in the appendix. Or maybe not. Yeah. Wasn't a car. I know. <laughs> we discussed that too. Yeah, we had. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So, um, and sigils in here. So you got sigil mentioned in this book. So for, I know a lot of people love around. that. What's that? He gets around. Yeah. But um, yeah, pieces galore of Vecna throughout this book. So you can have fun with that. I think what's even more uh, astonishing, if you're following along with the Lich list on Cannon Fire that uh, Jay linked, is that in Die Vecna Dies, there are seven other Liches who are all subservient to Vecna. Yes. Uh, yes, and a lot of them um, are in here. What, you got a couple of them in, by name there, Mike? I'm just looking at the list. So nothing too... Uh, yeah. Uh, nothing that I would know about them without breaking out the right. book. Crashes, Valon, Mikali, you know, they're just names. They're probably just, you know, random encounter liches. Right, like this them. one, Mikali, yeah. So when I do that, it's supposed to come up on the side here. If it has anything linked to it, it doesn't. Mika, let me see if I can get one that has a link to it. Uh, it it's not popping up here. Normally it'll pop up on the side and it'll show it. It'll show the, uh, it'll show the reference. Oh, there, there, there. It's gone. But it'll also show on the side the Zavoda index will be linked to it. So uh, King Guruman showing where he is. I'm just, I'm just trying to see. Kel, there, Kelvaron, Lich. Wow. Oh, it looks like that's in County of Ulick. Over the Liches. Hospital bar. All right, so it is working on that. Uh, you probably couldn't make an ogre lich because yeah, I don't know what that's ogres, all about. ogres wouldn't be able to drink something that would be poisonous poisonous enough to kill them. Right. Plus, magically, I mean, I can see clerically, but magically, <laughs> how the heck are they going to do it? Right? Yeah. It's a good, yeah. but Mike, hey, that's a good point. Yeah. So, um, Anna, uh, uh, yeah, Mel, 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 He's got to be on here. I don't He's see it. Nope. Mella Fleur is a ogre magi lich. Monsters. Wow. See, this is what happens when you have Eric here and not in the chat on here. So, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, He's the god of liches. Um, I had no idea. And Monster oh, Mythology okay. is the blue book, uh, the blue and brown book. Yeah, that's a great, that's okay. a great book. I'll live. I will so get it. I, yeah, I will get, get that. it here. Wow, somewhere. that's awesome. That uh, there yeah. is a god of liches, which mm -hmm. is seems kind of weird, yeah, remarkable. But given that's that cool. They made Vecna. That yeah. So Anna's gonna look that up. Yeah. That is cool. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So they're the top two, right, in the food chain. Right, and Greyhawk, they're the top two in the food chain. And there's a whole bunch of other ones. So I was looking that up. Um, I can. I have two other big ones. Well, one's big. Big ones. Big. I have a real big one. So uh, here's my challenge. Right. Probably Some of you probably know this. Here you go. It's a big name now, but it wasn't mm -hmm. back in the eight, uh, early 80s. Mm. Right. First mention... Of a Zalin is in what book? This I know. Uh, so now we're, we're still on Ravenwall. The Extra Life 5D Adventure for Film Machine Mutual Legend Player Show. Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. Yeah, Mellifleur. Yeah. Is here. And that there's a bunch of others. Real. This is a chapter that is. 
we should have a show just about that last chapter in this book. Yeah, right? we so can. What, all the, the, all the gods the of the dark. There's the gods of beholders in there too, isn't there? Oh, yes. And there's a yeah. god of hags. What? Well, okay. One of my no favorite. Yep. No one knows that, huh? The first uh, the first appearance of a Zalin is in a, uh, yep. a really... Uh, The first appearance of Azalean is, whoops, I did that. I don't know if you'll, uh, I minimized everyone. Give me I would say a novel too. Uh, what's that? Uh, Eric says a novel, a Ravenloft novel. Is it Ice Drive? Um, it, it's actually, I'm going to bring it up in a second when I bring you all back here. Um, it is, do I have it here? Do I have it here? It is. Dun 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 Ravenloft 2, the house in Griffin Hill. Ah, electric boogaloo. Yes. The wonderful Ravenloft 2 adventure. Now So what's Yeah. This and I love this adventure. It's on my wall of fame. So is Tomb of Horrors. Uh it's one of the most difficult adventures I've ever run. Uh I remember we finished it like six o'clock in the morning one night, late at night with this. And um, I thought I brought up I-10 in my thing, but I didn't. So that that's annoying. I-10 is um, kind of got a Jekyll. The, 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 Stry, um, Stry is like Jekyll and Hyde in this one, which which makes kind of no sense because there's an infernal machine that splits them in half. It doesn't make much sense. Here we go. Okay. But. I never own that one. Well. Yeah, this one I have. It's on my, the reason I don't have my heart. It's in my wall of fame, mm -hmm. so I didn't take it down here. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, Zalen is located in here, and, and Zalen is like an ally, but not an ally of his, and can be one of the ones converted to like key people in the town. So, um, and then he's just like, "Well, I'm not going to be." Uh, um, let, me, let me just do a search. I'm not going to be. Around for the finale, I'm taking off, you know, and that's kind of what happens. So Stradolf and has a cause a quasit of Lich Azalean. Um, the quasit Tetelos uses tough to help keep the creature in Azalean in contact. So you go, here's Azalean, 18th level Lich. So Azalean is the creature's most powerful and least trusted ally. The creature is the evil part of Strad in this. So uh, yeah, it's a great cover. It's absolutely great color. So you know. You I got a, you got a Zalen running around in here, and no one knows anything about him at this point. There's no background story on him, but we're going to make a whole background. You know, a whole background is going to get created of him being, you know, a, a lord. Um, was it Ernst or Ni where, um, Nyron? Where uh, um, he becomes in the early like 100s, he North becomes a like, province. North province. That's it. Okay, yeah. So. Um, Zalen is extremely powerful and does not trust Strahd in the least. He's more concerned with preserving his rapidly decaying body than with helping Strahd in his personal vendettas. So, he is definitely a gray hawk. You know, this is actually, think about this. So, Ravenloft 2 is actually, if he's, this is his first appearance, he's either been claimed by Greyhawk or this is in Greyhawk. It's one of the two, right? Yeah. I'd uh, go with the retcon okay. version of that. Like, when the Ravenloft setting came out, it Neuralink. probably reset everything that's in those modules. Okay. And so then that gives him a new backstory. Right. That's separate from Strahd. Yeah, so he's kind of like a a baddie. Oh, let's we'll just throw a lich in as well. <laughs> All close. Great you know. close. Now, uh, when we ran this, he did he did exactly he he bolted. He didn't stick around for the end and help out Strahd. And uh, so, you know, but if he's been around since the 100s, he's been around a long time, right? He's been around hundreds of years. Now, probably not as long as, as Sarak of Vecna, so he's on that second tier. Yeah, he's a baby lich. Yeah, he's a baby lich in comparison to them. But so, just to, so you're aware of, that's where Zalen comes from in, uh, and look, Tracy and Laura Hickman, the ironies, right, Anna? Mm-hmm. So... That's the third major lich that I can think of that has a big name in Greyhawk, right? Yeah. 
like well known. Well known, and there's a whole sort, yeah. whole whole sorts of backstory. So he's born in Neural, and he's uh, nor- running the North Province early days. Strad was Strad afraid of him? Not no. Strad was. This is a, that Ravenloft Two is not the vampire Strad that you know. It's a more of a Jekyll and Hyde Strad because he's got this machine that cuts him in half, kind of like. The one, the Star Trek where Kirk gets split into two personalities from the teleporter. You remember that one, one of the early ones? It's kind of the same thing. There's yeah. a good, there's a good Strahd and an evil Strahd. Kind of really, yeah. So. Good promo about <laughs> Thanks, yeah. Mike. You got me I before Josh did on that. That was a good one. Yeah. Uh, uh, You're sleeping pretty, on the job. That's pretty good. Huh? Yeah, the answer, huh? Just get Ravenloft 2 and you'll understand. There's an apparatus machine. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can, it's bizarre. Santa, what were you looking up uh, there? Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the, the, um, uh, this one, Libris Mortis. Ooh. Oh, cool. And this one has a, a sub chapter on, on liches. So, so at the back of the book. And third is, edition? Uh, not yeah, much look on book about the, darkness, yeah. by the way. There's not yeah. much on liches, mostly demons and devils. It's mostly book. demons and devils. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so the libris mortis has the the, the yeah. goodies on on liches, and yeah. there is a, a a bunch of them, and there is one that is clearly greyhawk, and that's Earl the Gaunt. is described on page, uh, mm-hmm. let's see here, one fifty four. And he's talked. He's an elf that was a, began his career as a lovely cleric of Ouija. Whoa. Yep. So so blah blah blah. And, and there's a long history and and the stat clock and and so on and so forth. So, and I'm pretty sure that there's a couple of them more here. That there's I think there's like five or six of them described here. So there is uh, Krilla the Dark Hand, Kurlat Gitzerailich, and Durak the Eternal and but are, in Darina, yeah, that's a ghost. So, so there's a bunch of them that are described with backstories and full stat blocks and stuff. So they're kind of, and then we have uh, Tevangia Zale. Uh, see where she comes from. Mm. If there's an, if I can, no, are I any don't of those see Greyhawk? any. No, all... I, that, I think it's it's only Earl the Gaunt that has a, a kind of written out Greyhawk connection. But there's also some some cool stuff about uh, liches Gaunt, in did general. You say Gaunt. Yeah, Earl the Gaunt. Earl the yeah. Gaunt. Okay, let me see. Yeah. And there is something about the, the phylacteries and, and and a little bit about how they work and how to break them and, and how to detect them and stuff like that. So so there are some, some goodies for, for for general lich interest too, not only specific liches. So I don't see him on this list. No. How, so does, we it have to, with we, does it begin with an E? Does it begin with an E? Yep. Mm-hmm. It's not on here. E R L the gaunt. Yep. No, it's not here. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at that. What's yep. up, Dale? Uh, well. So so we have one more more found there. And then there's also a uh, Lich variants. Uh, we have a nasty one, Lich Fiends. If you don't want if there's not nasty enough, then you can always make a, a demon lich. So Dale, we are all, de- if you got a game, I understand, but we are all devoid of even the undying liches. Uh, and I apologize. I just, uh, yeah. so. so. So there are some some little goodies in, in okay. not too much about liches, but there are some goodies in this book. Where is it? So where did you say that, that lich is from? Buy. In there? Uh, Earl, the gone. It's from Libris uh, no. Mortis. Where no, in he, he does, he doesn't oh. say where. He just says he just references yeah, so priest of Ouija. We don't want to bypass all the liches. Yeah. In, so in, no, in no there. geography information. Okay. On this one. A shelf full of third edition books. I'd love to get rid of and no Libris Mortis on them. Yeah. This yeah. is actually a good book. Uh, oh, sorry. This book is <laughs> a good book. This is a good book. I like it. It has a lot of, of uh, information that you can be inspired to run ghost vampires, liches, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Durak the hmm. Eternal, and he's in there too, right? Yep, mm-hmm. he was in so, there too. A lich who was a flight-flown worshiper of Vecna could be Greyhawk too. Well, if he's yep. Vecna, he, he was in there too. Yeah. Vecna's a god by then. I'm not dis- yep. disputing uh, Balmo Cube, but he could be any plane after third edition. Vecna's everywhere. Yeah. It, so it, it's after third edition that Vecna really just pff, comes comes around? That's when well, that's... I think they laid the groundwork on second edition. Then when third edition came out, they were like, 
they looked at the modules that were out there and they're like, oh, well, Vecna's a god. And then he proceeded as a god from there. But the whole point in this 2E modules was to keep him from being a god. So what their edition did was basically say the 2E era heroes failed. So, right? yeah. You bring up one here, and I think Zane is through. Isn't Zane all through Fate of Istus? Zane, I don't know. Right? Is that true? Zane is all through Fate of Istus, if I recall. But I would like to know, why does Zane have two heads? That's what I was just... Uh, two heads and two names. Maybe they have two heads. It's spelled differently okay. twice. <sighs> and that's not popping uh, up. Well, the reason he's it's spelled differently is because Rob Coons didn't own the right or you know, Ah! Ah! Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so he, he, which he, one is Greyhawk? The X version or the Z X, version? X is Greyhawk. X is Greyhawk. Z A Y is Necromancer Games. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. So it was stripped. Hmm. I have Maze of Zane also, and I ran it one time. And the only thing I remember from the module was that every encounter, the warriors were in full plate mail. And I was thinking, what the hell? What do you miss? But that's a that's a weird thing to remember. Yeah. So I so I knew about Zane, and I knew that he's all over publications, you know, multiple publications mm -hmm. here. I, I'm, I'm I'm trying to figure out why it's not popping up here. It used to, like for example, I'm clicking on Vecna. Maybe oh, I, I click here, it, and, and it was the the, the Savard Index was popping up on the left, and it's not doing it now. Oh, so, but I'm not I'm not messing around with it. Oh. Okay. So another. All right. So Dale brings up Zane, which is a huge one. The two headed, uh, the two headed lich was if it's high court wizard, and then no, another he's... one, uh, Rexifer of Garrus, the 300 year old lich who studies the blood worn spiral in the Darman hmm. lands. Okay, nice. yeah. so that's a good one, yeah. too. And that, um, and that one's, I bet you that one's on this list. I saw that one, Rexifer, Rexifer, Rexifer. I yep. know of those guys, go. but I know nothing about them. Yep, I know Zane has two heads, yeah. And we just don't know why, right? It was never. <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, in chat, I think Dragotha. Yes, he does. Von Volko. We'll get to him shortly. Tiamat. Didn't Tiamat create Dragotha? Yes. But Dragotha is a, de a Draco Lich, which is. Uh, yeah. It's a Lich? Is it? No. Oh, yeah. Definitely a Lich. Uh, One hmm. of the coolest Liches in the setting. Okay. There's a Lich in D1. That's all too okay. cool. Yeah, we're going to get to Asper. Well, maybe maybe she's a Demilich now. Dragon Demilich. Hmm. Even okay. worse. I've used a ton of Dragon I didn't even think to go there with Dragons that. do have a lot of gems. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Let's just do... We'll, we'll do we'll do that after... Uh, let's, let's go to here. And uh, it's iconic, the picture. It's the lying down lich. Okay. So this is Asperides from D1, that uh, um, descent into the depths of the earth, right? D1. Now they have that D1 and two together, but this is the original D1. All right. Yep. So the great thing about this one is he's lying there. He's got like 600 magic mouths. You can see a couple of them in, on the on the pictures, it's like bah, 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 all over the place. Um, I should have this ready. Here's the sunken, sunken cave, you know, and there it is. This horrid creature normally rests on the ledge of the southern tip of the place. It will maintain the illusion and not attack any intruders unless they are using magic spells or any sort of obviously detecting magic. His spell level is 20th. So, 66 hit points. Probably should be more. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, St. Cuthbert we, of the Cudgel. We went over that a little bit earlier. Yes, and you remember Len was on the show 40 sometimes and great, but I appreciate you bringing that back up. So, um, Gary Hulian made a whole background on Asperides that I have. Now, I was rushing notes on this, but he has a whole story, background story of how he got there. How this guy got in, here's a nicer cover, into here. So, Pretty cool. Talks about Asperides came through the Lost Passage of the Soulwees all those ages and ages ago. And uh, uh, then was um, attempted to set up a kingdom in multiple places. 
was at a very large battle in the Dreadwood. Um, reset after that into the Yeomanry. And this is, I bet, is referenced in Living Greyhawk LGC or LG0. What's Living Greyhawk? Was I thinking Living Greyhawk Gazetteer? It may be in the Yeoman. Uh, so in the Yeomanry, it's either Living Greyhawk 0. I, I don't know. My notes are not good. Um, well, thank you, Dale. So um, Asperities so was... Was just big in their history. Was well, this is according to Gary. Gary made up some background yeah. for him. He was yeah. big and was got a uh, was a big despot in the yeomanry area. Got obliterated uh, that, but got out, but and fled and, and didn't want to deal with living mm -hmm. anymore and fled into trying the to undergarden. explain why there's a random 20th level glitch in D1 yes. under in yeah. the underdark. Absolutely. Yeah. Also had yeah. connections to the silent ones, it appears. And that's and, and that uh, references in Living Greyhawk Journal four, so there is background on asperities in the Living Greyhawk journals, uh, from Gary, um, which is cool. Yeah, it's definitely so. Like yeah, so he took one because totally it always. Weird, yeah. I don't think Gary's on yet, but it always drove Gary crazy that there was nothing. You know, you have a lich and there's nothing written up on him, at all. So yeah. he made some he made some information. Any and connections to Asperity on Asperity Isle? Or is that just a coincidence? I think no, that's a as berries, not as parodies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. Just it's, spelled, difference. it's spelled mm -hmm. A S B as parodies. There you go. Yeah. Oh, Elderon's got a grudge. You got killed by him? That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey Pat, <laughs> thank you for hanging out. Yep. Appreciate it. So, yep. There is his location in D one. So a big one. Um with no no background yeah. written up, but now we have some at least. We have some some decent yes. bet. Yep. Because you know, otherwise it's just a random encounter. Yep. Hey, well, thank you, uh, Jeremy. We're technically not to eight thousand yet. It shows us that on the it rounded up. There's Jeremy from Gamescape Three D. I, I owe you a, a VIP badge, man. So great to see you. Our great sponsor. We're getting there. We're going to give away. It's, um, and I'm hoping. Uh, I, I, I'm sorry, I spelled your name wrong. Uh, let me check real quick what we're at. We're, uh, it should say we're at 79.81, 19 away. Let me just make sure we haven't lost anyone. Uh, once we get to 8,000, and I'm hoping we'll have it by Sunday or on Sunday show by then. Um, 79.81 is correct. 19 to go. I'm giving this away. It'll be the eighth time. Here it is. Best of Dragon Volume 3. Original. We will give that away as early as Sunday night. So, thanks, Jeremy. It's great to see you, man. So, um, uh, Liches. You guys uh, want to throw out a couple? And, and if you want to throw out uh, our, our favorite Dracula Lich, you can do that or whatever you well, want to. No, I, have a couple. I, want to, I want to have one that spams the the um the device because there seems to be old flandom seems to be full of liches and hinted hints at liches and stuff and then the soul have their liches and there seem to be one that kind of spams the divide a little bit that that seems to come from and and the only Beckluni lich that i've been able to find and that's Lysandra. He was born a Bakluni, but it seems like his village was robbed and, and raided by Sul, and he seems to have found his mojo and the, the, the resources to become a lich from the Sul. So, so he's kind of that weird case of, of the only Bakluni Sul, but there might be lots of Bakluni Sul because I didn't look at this map. I should have looked at Are this map. Are we talking map. about Lysandra the Mad? Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't pick up that adventure. That was There's, one I left downstairs. Yeah, I, I read on on um, <laughs> the, the Greyhawk Wiki had a, a good summary on Lysandra that cool. was kind of and was kind of interesting. Lich. That that he seems to have spanned. Big... Yeah, so I, I didn't get the the there don't seem to be that many Bakluni liches, which is kind of interesting. The Flan history seems to be full of liches, and there seems to be um, Sewell even have a special type of monster we can get to the Sewell lich. That was in Dragon Three Three Nine, oh, and, man, and I got it all. I'm, I got all that already. Oh yeah, I know that. Yeah. So, 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 but we will get to that. But yeah, but then, absolutely. But then, then we have. But to me, one of the most kind of interesting facets are the 
the flan preoccupation with Lichten in, in some ways. It seems to be back in, in the day with Vecna and I think that there might be an, a Sararek and, and a bunch. I bet that those are just the last. I think that there's a whole bunch of them before them, so to speak. That I, I, I want to have like an age of, of, of Witch King liches from fandom back from from, from flan mm -hmm. back in the day so to speak so so and and then we can start talking when we get to the soul liches but but go on find one from the well, modules well not the, not the, the grim vizier according to uh, dave and dave dave wh where's that from i mean it's in zeef so i, I don't have this. any idea what's that oh no big this, Grim Vizier. this answers two questions that are in the chat one is there another backlonish lich and two is there a priest lich mm -hmm. so nobik the grim vizier is a is both sorcerer yeah. slash lich i believe oh. and the reason i know all this is because i have an entire post post on liches oh, oh great there we go i should have there, read that you know, one of course yeah, i have yep. a post about everything mm -hmm. uh, i will link yep, it one. absolutely it's the uh showing up here the Hexad. I created a power group of liches, if any of you recall, and Nobik is one of them. Nobik is 29th level. Uh, I don't know what the break. I don't know what the breakdown is, but he is wizard slash priest. Yeah. Uh, of what deity, I don't know either. But well, he, he is like the he is the vizier of Zeev. You have Marquesa Mayerni in here, which I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about. Absolutely. I have her. I have her. There's Larrick. Yeah. Larrick's another one we got to get to. Big name liches on that list, right? Yeah. Very cool. Excellent, Mike. And that was one. Th there is one on that article that, that I think fits the bill of uh, old flan liches. And that's Count Dalvier up in, in, um, in, in um, hang on a second here, in the Fell Reeve. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, in, he's in, in Horn Society up there. Yeah, isn't he? Is he in um, Eyes the Evil or yep. Mark, he's in Eyes Mark, the Evil? He might be mentioned in both of them. Oh, I think Mark he, Lance, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, so he he's kind of uh, Dalvier, and and I don't exactly know his backstory, but Count Dalvier. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think yeah. Well, yeah now I'm in the trouble. Western need... Fell Reef. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Tell yep. Us. And he has an army. He has oh an yeah. Army. Mm -hmm. And he's just kind of buying this time. He could no yep. one knows mm -hmm. whose side he's on. He's on his own side. Yeah. So so I I want I Great kind one. of put him in as one of these old flan ones that that has been been kind of sitting there for yeah, quite some sense. time. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's the account of? He, he's account of his county. He he's account of Delvier. And okay. and that I have I it that, that he's he is he probably had a, a personal name back in the day, but then then that was probably part of, of yep. the Flan lands up there. And then when I used okay. came, it was kind of yeah, things got reformed over time and, and he was part of the Horn Society and no one paid any attention outside the uh, that area, so to speak. And things are now in, in flux. And and so so I think it's one of these very interesting gaming possibilities that you can you can do something with so with him up wait a minute is he he's right in the fell fell read yeah I, I was wondering but it was showing down there that's really weird it's just i don't know if it's just this thing here oh there it goes okay yep. yeah, mm -hmm. there it is now yep. it's flashing so so he's so what there's a, a, not on the oh it's a green dragon i was like what's right next mm -hmm. to it okay that's interesting Berith mirex yep. so lysandra the mad caesar Right, it's, he's got his own whole module. I just hate it. <laughs> but Anna says he's he's a Baklooni. I did not know that well, either. It, it was just written on on the Greyhawk wiki that he was born in a Baklooni village and oh, okay. then, then escaped because the Sewell came. And here's in. the part I hate. I yeah. hate that they tied him to Zagreb. Uh huh. Well, only because of proximity. Mm -hmm. While we have dozens, apparently, of liches in history to choose from. You know, this guy, the guy who's good at uh, riddles and puzzles is the one that uh, somehow has psychic in this cool. history. There I guess is. it's the madness, too, that might tie them together. Yeah, maybe that. Yeah. Do, are all... Uh, oh, oh, thank you, Dale. <laughs> 
that is awesome. So but I think Asher, that yeah. was more to give Lysander cred mm-hmm. than to give Zagate cred. Yeah. Okay. Tying them narratively together. Yeah, because far from all liches are mad, some of them seems to be kind of very on point, so to speak, and, and disciplined and organized and stuff. So not all of them are the mad crazed ones. Yeah. Well, I don't know many liches that aren't crazy. I mean, a lot of them are calculating, right? Calculating yeah. Would be the word. Yeah, that, that's to me is they not crazy. If you can calculate and execute, then, then you're not really crazy. Hmm. So um, let's do this one. Uh, so we go here, and there's there's a couple. Whoops, I did it twice. Got eyes to evil, right? Let's see if it has. And then and then this one's a big one, right? And uh, and he has his own tower, and here in the Vespi, Larrick. So you got Larrick's tower. So, Leric, within the Vespi Control, there are many buried banes, magic, and secret places. And the most famous is the Twin Towers of the Lich Leric. Each stands some 80 feet high and sculpted in the shape of a broad, fat gargoyle. Mm. Mm. There are door portals apparent in either tower. So, now, its treasure hoard is said to include many, and a broad surplus of holy adventure taken from a slain Iridium Paladin of Heronius. For this reason, the Ayas forces keep watch at a safe distance to stymie any servants of good who come in search for this mighty weapon. Now, in here, it says, and this is under this is under the, the character descriptions you have in this book. If the DM wishes to bring Lark into the game, he is a lich of the powers of the 19th level priest of Arithnal. So it really, he's not statted here, but he's like, well, if you want to bring him, here's what you should, you know. There's so. no priest. What they're saying is. Don't don't do it. Some people are left. Yes, um, you never know, uh, Nagoya Joe. I could be, I could, if I want to do a super high. Maybe um, we we have a group up there. I could I could do something in this realm with Larrick. I could. It's in, it's in one of my wheelhouses. Um, he's power of Vecna, but I'm spacing on his name. Uh, we started with an O. Hmm. Well, let me take a look on this here. Are there any liches that start with an O on this list? And uh, I don't see any on this list uh, on, that started with an O, but uh, you know, it could be. It could maybe wash it, maybe from not Greyhawk. So, yeah, uh, Ulan. I know Ula Tech there, Caesar, but that's from Heavy Metal. So. As we see. Mm. Yeah. So, um, Lyric's cool. That's a good one. Um, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm just bouncing around this area and just seeing what we got. There are a lot of dragons, dragons, dragons. Now, here's a lich. Here's a lich. I thought smack dab in the, no, it's not there now. I thought there was a lich smack dab in the, in the, in the county of York, but I don't mm. see it now. Black dragons, mm-hmm. dragons. They're all dragons. All right. I'm just bouncing around here. I have um, WG4. Is that I use the evil? I think it is. I got another one from I use the evil. And that is, and this one is uh, Geshender. He looks like he's in the middle. Uh, he's not far from, uh, he's in Furyundi. If yeah, I've, he's in the nice part of town. Yeah, do you know about him, Mike? No, I just know that he lives in Furyundi. Yeah, so we have yeah. a lich living in uh, Furyundi. That's kind of disturbing. A reference good liches, Greyhawk, the mm-hmm. Lincolns. There's one good lich, right? There's one good lich that I know of um, that is in Greyhawk. I'm not sure if... Um, I'm trying to find one that, that I know Been I've been read, reading about that now I lost yeah. which. Oh, give right me a here second is. here. Mm-hmm. I know I think there's we think one. About the same one. Uh, Gary Hulian wrote the story. Did he write the story? I think so. If if we're thinking about the same one, he did. I, I don't remember have... the name. 
I'm sorry. Uh, Someone give it to it's, me. It's it's in chat. Oh, Sergum the Just. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Did it link here? That's not here either. Nope. I need I need to find it. <laughs> I I think I can find it's it. Really so. Yeah. Hey, Mandy, you know, sometimes uh, I don't know everything and I don't know a lot. So uh, in this one, I, I know my, the liches that I researched on. Um, He's in Worth General 34, so I'm trying to find Oh, OK. Yeah. Well, that's not that's mm -hmm. that's recent. It's good yeah, to well, see yeah. you, Mandy. Re that, that's why I'm, what I knew it from. Yep. I guess I'm doing Death Knights if it's scary. It has something Tale to do with of the Death Knights. To meet his old friend, Sarah Grimm. Yep. Sergum in the Great Kingdom? No, I'm just guessing. No, it's it's in uh, up in the northern Adri, kind of southwest of Nurl. It's in the that area, north of Adri. Close. Kind of Great Kingdom, yeah. <laughs> Flinty Hills, up here. So it's in thirty. What does he do? Is he does he wander? Is he? What's he? No, he sits there and, and uh, I think it's. Hang on a second. H in thirty three, yeah. I need to. Hey, Alfred. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Andy, you're far yeah. from a lich. Trust me. I can't. I can't do it. There's a, it's in uh, Worth Journal 33, Domain of Seragrim. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. It's a concealed what valley page? north of the city of Inspa, uh, uh, page four. Okay. I can get mm -hmm. there. Give me yep. a second. In the Flinty Hills. There it is. Demand Sargum. Good. Not sure how that's accomplished. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Un, as f although a far lesser known Sargum is unlike any lich that has existed in Legend of Flanders, he's also the antithesis of the Lord of Vox Hunt. Where Merle is cruel and capricious, Sargum is wise and just. <coughs> Whoops. Is that a picture of him right there? Mm -hmm. I, I think so. Him. Okay. Yeah. I hate the way this thing bounces around. So he's born in Inspon, 37 CY, so he's been around a long time. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, he had to do a spine castle. That makes sense now. Why? Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. Yes. How many liches does it take to get center of a Tootsie Pop? 13. By five, the year 350, the whole region. All right. So it appears. When did he become a lich? Do we have a year on here? He was me. appointed 121. Hmm. Okay. Well, he's alive in 197. If he's human, that's mm -hmm. 160 years old then. Yeah. Yeah. He might have been uh, okay. Yeah, so at that point, um, he's uh, he's alive as a human. That's mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty. Yeah, thanks, Elnival. That's pretty nasty to be all along that. Well, look there. So this is a newer this is a newer information ledge here, which is cool, right? Mm -hmm. Available in the Earth Journal. Uh, a little different, and I'm assuming he is <laughs> still a around. He's seven. Uh, yes, he's still there. So, and you got, you got, so the good thing is, is that Gary gave you some rumors, some hooks. Mm -hmm. right? uh, oh, St. Bain will not set in the foot of the land of Avesta, though he knows of its existence. All right. Many spies have been attempting to find the Vale for centuries. St. Benador has sought and granted refuge in the Vale for many occasions. Uh, they are uh, obscuring his location for sewers. The artifact known as the Orb of Soul has surely spent much time in Avesta as well. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. I told you it would have something to do with Death Knights. Yes, yep. it does. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. It's right. in the same area and stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. That's cool that we got a newer one. So, excellent. So, um, and uh, Dracoliches. Well, we have one obvious one, Drogratha. Right. That I think it's, it's uh, really cool. And to be, my opinion, not think the only one and i don't think we should have too many in any campaign so so there should not be many of them so to speak but 
the world, the planet is big, so there's probably room for a couple more. But I think it's cool to have it in in the stories to to, to kind of have a, an old one. And what I I just I don't know exactly how long Dragotha has been been a, a lich. But I have it that that she reigned two thousand years ago, roughly, and and then became then died and and became undead dragon and and lich and now she's been a lich for almost 2000 years that's a long time yeah and that means that no one knows if she's still a lich or if it's become um, a demi lich so which would be kind of cool to develop a dragon demi lich would be kind of fun yeah absolutely i think let me see if i have it on my machine man i'm 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 delving deep here um, oh, Reinald the Gaunt. Okay. Yeah. So we have an Earl the Gaunt and a Reinald the Gaunt. An Earl the Gaunt from Libris Mortis. And a... Reinald is yeah. way older than publication. Yeah. yeah. So Reinald the Gaunt is a legendary journal, Blackmore article. Interesting. And yeah, King... I know King Gurman, a Flinty Hills Lich of Eden by Merlin. I remember that one. I. Um... So, so who is King Guramon? Because there's not much detail on the website. It's, it doesn't I, have any yeah. references. Flinty Hills yeah. Lynch. That's all. I think that's all it says. Yeah. Is, is, is a, because uh, that's the basically the same neighbor, neighborhood as uh, Saragram. Yeah. It's the, their day next door neighbors. All right. I'm going to share something that I shouldn't <sighs> put there. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Look what I have. Ooh. Yeah. Dragosa's Lair. I have it too. Yes, I think we, we got it from uh, Bruce Cordell. Mm -hmm. It's a little gift from Bruce Cordell, our Dragotha's Lair. So this is actually an adventure based on White Plume Mountain by Lawrence Schick, Return to White Plume Mountain by Bruce Cordell. Uh, so uh, this was made in 1999, 2001. This is RPGA. This is pre-Living Greyhawk, I think. It's right before when Living Greyhawk started. So you do have, uh, you do have, um, yep. Uh, so Dragotha's statted in here. Or is Dragotha not here? Here it is. Here's Dragotha. This is as of second edition. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can blow this up a little bit. So that, oh, that second edition, not third. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah this, second this edition. Second, this is right at the end of second edition. Mm -hmm. uh, Bruce Cordell was the king of publications of second. So armor class minus four, negative 1.26, I'd raise that. So MR45, but yes. Yeah, so here's Dragotha statted up for this adventure. Uh-huh. Yep. Dragotha is in Age of Worms. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. In the worm crawl fissure, third edition or three point five. Yeah, it's yeah. third. Yeah. Which uh, who wrote that one? Do you know which one? Uh, who was Charlie writer? Jacobs? But, I'm guessing. Yeah, Eric Mona, Jake Jacobs, and or someone. Well, they each that... only wrote one, so I'm. One, I don't think Bruce Cordell wrote one. So, um, yeah. Anyone know that one? Which one uh, was uh, which your goth and it was written? Who wrote it? I'm just interested. So yeah, so here's we have some stats, and there's a there's a crown of mortality here as well. So um, that doesn't sound good. It's only got 550, 500. Um, oh, once the crown is done, the per where perishes where we draw a graph that manages to afford a new recommend. Like, oh, well, that's good. It's kind of a, you don't want to put that on. So cool. Neat. Hilaire was also in Dungeon Magazine, I believe. It's possible, Lando. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's the same adventure, though. So. Earth Journal six from from King German. No, not King German. The one that Alderaan was talking about. We're getting all over the place here. On Renny of the Gaunt. Yep. All right. So speaking of Dragon Magazine, yep. Who wrote it? James Jacobs. Oh, yeah. yeah, James Good Jacobs. Job. It's awesome. the eleventh part. 11th the the, part. Uh, the Into the World Coral Fisher. Eleven out of twelve. Yeah, and it's uh, uh, Cus Draculich. So, so because they they kind of mixed up the Dragatha and and Cuse. Oh, okay. Or Caius, or have you pronounced it? Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. So, so if it was not nasty, and then and, and Cuse is one of these, or Caius is is one of the other ones that kind of, I'm not sure if it's a lich, but it kind of fits the bill that he might have once been a lich. Once again, they took a monster from a fiend folio and they elevated this last name on it sons of Caius and mm -hmm. yeah. oh yeah yep. yeah mm -hmm. absolutely because they need to be a son of sons of something, something. yeah yeah and and that was kind of really mm -hmm. 
Art Journal 5, The Arch Barony of Blackmore by Frederick Wining. Very cool, Alderon. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for that. Yep. So we know where he is. All right. Let's go to let's keep on going with dungeons. We're on a roll. You you mentioned this one, Mike, in your article. Wolfgang Bauer yeah. mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. in Kingdom of the Ghouls, Dora saying the Ghoul King is not really the nastiest thing in this in this adventure. Yeah. Marques Marine, the Lich, and she's a Sula Lich. Yep. And Jeez. now we need to go into the differences. Please, yeah. can you indulge well, us? On I the have the I have the article. So uh, yeah. I, I mean, I have the, the the sheet. I'll show you in a second. So um, uh, let me just see who my guys are on. Ah, it's okay. So <laughs> I'll tell you what's going on in my adventure. I'm running right now from this uh, on this basis too. So Marcus, yeah. So she's nasty. Um, they jump from body to body. Almost like parasitically, or or they're they're once they waste a body, waste away, and it doesn't take that long, they jump into another one, the soul lich. But let me bring up the soul lich. Um, let me bring it up here. Okay. Uh, the soul lich. Mm. Mm. This is from Monsters Compendium Annual Second Edition. The host of the Soul Lich appears as a human with coarse, leathery skin and eyes to glow and ominous back fire. I, um, you know, it just it just talks about its abilities here, but here, uh, ecology. Soul Lich is an unholy amalgamation of the human body and energy from negative to your plane. So, the essence of the wizard is converted to negative energy. It needs a body to inhabit. The essence of the Lich ages the body at three times the normal rate. So, it is alive! The, the Soul Lich inside a living body is alive. Each time a Soul Lich gains a level, burns out a host, or is reduced to zero hit points, it must find a new body. So they can level up still, too. So, it says here, when the Empire of Soul was destroyed by the Reign of Colors fire more than a millennium ago, some of the few creatures to survive the destruction were the Soul Liches. Several migrated from Earth to other worlds. Some of these still roam, questing for wealth and power, while others exist in hidden strongholds. Continuing their ageless research. Regardless of its intentions, the Soul Lich always attempts to hide its true nature. Since then, little, uh, little written knowledge, written or survived the color of fire. Only a handful of sages and Lord Messer even heard of such creatures. Okay. So, um, yes, but... All Soul Liches are pretty devastating. This is Polyhedron 101 too, Eric? All right, well, I did not know that. That's cool. It's not the original source. I, I never got Polyhedrons back in the day. Who wrote it? Do you know who wrote it? That would be great to know. Thank you, Eric Boyd. Nice. Thank you. So, in my adventure I'm running right now, the sus is calling. I have these half, these albino elves, which are half soul, half elf. Half the albino crazy souls that are in the, rumored somewhere. The uh, leader is, is attempting in this location. She's a necromancer. Of course, I make them she. I always make my baddies she's uh, for some reason. Um, Kevin Melka. Very cool, Eric. I don't know who that is, but that is awesome. That is awesome to hear. So if we have this area back. Oh, you can't see it on this one. I bet you can't see them at any of the angles on these. There we go. On this one. This tomb back here on the left. Uh, there, she's in there now. She is looking for documentation on because she's worried she's half elven half soul has been around who knows how long to figure out how to become a soul lich that's what she's seeking that was my connection so i was like oh yeah liches this is perfect timing to do this so we used to write tournament modules for tsr i ran one oh cool michael good to know so that's my connection into the soul lich in this adventure we're running now but this is three weeks so you're not going to really find it out till week three which is the week after this one tomorrow just a little connection <coughs> pretty neat pretty neat stuff on the soul lich so um i ran one soul lich in an adventure couple, about a year and a half ago mm -hmm. only one ever you yeah had one. stella was in on it uh, a couple yep. other people were in on it and that's the only time i've ever run a soul lich so hey george crashes good to see you 
Wow. Bringing out the heavy hitters tonight. We got both Eric and George on? Mm-hmm. My. Awesome. She also wrote, wow. So thank you, uh, George. I was looking at your um, um, article that uh, on uh, Drive Through RPG, uh, which is really cool that Eric recommended I get. So we took that, um, did that, and uh, on uh, some of the things uh, that uh, you guys have uh, been working on to to be together. Great to see you. So. I did not know that. See, another name that um, deserved a sent screenshot of Shul Litch from Polly and Facebook. Did you email it to me or did you Discord it to me? If I bring out my email, well, if I uh, email it, odds are I got a 10% chance of crashing the stream bringing up email, but that's cool. So um, let me see what else we got. I'm almost going through all mine. Mike, you got to have a couple. All right, oh, I let's do talk have, about. I do have this one. I do have the Okay, go for it. 2000 Caesar. 2000 Caesar, right in my mind. Go for it. Drakus. So, Drakus is, is a flan psalm wizard who lives in the necropolis of Unard in the bright desert. Oh he's still lurking in this this so this is a high level old lich. This lich might even be older in Vecna mm -hmm. if it's if it's Psalm. That, that's, and he yeah. wants to return Psalm back to the way it was, but not like exactly how it was, but he definitely wants to someday conquer that area again but i think there's some kind of curse associated with him i can't recall that he hasn't done it already but uh yeah Drakus is a probably one of the biggest encounters you could set up going into the bright desert besides you finding rary and so is he in rary the traitor yeah rary the traitor that's where you okay. find that. that's where you find Drakus and rary the traitor good one yep. emails my Discord's on my laptop right now, so I can't link it and pop it up, Eric. But let me try this. Head tight, everyone, and pray. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, oh, you did it to Lord Gazamba, didn't you? Yep, there it is. Dungeon 98. Oh, cool. Save as. Please, please, Billy, oh. Billy, Billy, Billy. Hmm. I'm Billy Burrowing, my Billy, Billy, Billy. So it looks like it's saved. All right, let's see if I bring this up. Look, you know, Eric could really trick me with a do a really you know, naughty picture here, and I get in all sorts of trouble. So, but Eric's not that kind of guy. I'm kidding. Um, ah, into the bright desert. Yes, very good. I forgot about those articles that go in even more detail. Creighton Broadhurst did that. I right? thought I saved it, and I don't see it. Mm. I don't see it. There it is. Ah, cool. This is much nicer looking than the other one. This is in polyhedron? Wow. 1994. Alright. Which which polyhedron? Uh I know which? Eric said. Eric, which polyhedron was that again? 101. Wow, thank you. Thank you. I thank like this you. one so much yeah. better than the other one. It looks, yeah, this has got that feel from the, what do you call it? Inserts for, uh, from, from uh, uh, the Montrose Compendium. I'm going to print this one out and put this one in. Much better. Thank you so very much. And I imagine it's almost the exact same article. So, <laughs> word for word. <coughs> so, this is what I'll do, everyone. <laughs> I will put it in mm -hmm. I will put it in um, I'll link that screenshot in um, at the end of the show in uh, discords okay for everyone zoom in if I can I can't zoom in on this one this is not zoomable so but I'll uh, post a lich in my underdog post fest entry if it ever comes out oh Gary don't you're busting mm -hmm. Gary stones mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep I can send you a better PDF in a bit. Yeah, just whenever. That would be great, Eric. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then I can link it in for everyone into um, Discord, or you can do the same thing. 
So, um, I'm looking for this. I had Helmut or the Cruel in here. Oh, okay. Here's here's an item. Let's talk about this. This is a good one. See you, Mandy. Thank you so very much. And uh, Troy brought this one up for me. This is um, this is in Grail Adventures. Okay. The Crown of Blackmore. Oh, I thought it was going to be an aqua lich. <laughs> no. Uh, so, this black iron headpiece bears a large fire opal in its front. It was created by a powerful lich who used it to spread evil and destruction. When the crown is placed on the head of a deceased evil character who had reached at least 18th level as magic user, it animates the character as a lich. There you go. And that lich is... <laughs> Raniel the Gaunt. <laughs> is that how he, how he became... Crown of Blackmore. Yeah. So, it looks like they get one point of intelligence back. But here's the thing. There's a... <laughs> good aligned, there's a modifier. So you can actually put it on any alignment. Look, there's modifiers okay. here. So, um, yeah. It looks like uh, for success, the character has no control... Oh, the character placing the crown has no control over the lich. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't read it. With the following cumulative modifiers. Okay. So you can control it. Yep. Thanks, Dale. I don't read well. <laughs> Very neat. All right. that's it. So that's a really cool item. Gashandra to Fear and the Lich in the Marklands. We did mention that, Fuzz. Uncle Fuzz. We did mention him. He's right here. Yep. There's not much on him, though. Is there? Is there much of a description as to what he's doing or why? I don't know. Marklands. <coughs> yeah. He lives in a tower. That's all I know. So, the ones I did research on, Vecna, Zalen, Asarak, Leric, Asperdes, Geshender, which is that one, and the WG4, uh, Marine, Marcus Marine, Zane, we've all covered. He just lives in the Needle Tower. That's it. That's it. He lives in the Needle Tower and it doesn't say much other than... Um, in in yeah. fact, and there's no stats on him if I recall correctly. Um, yep. Ooh. All yeah. caverns has a damage. No, not in the caverns. It's the compilation monster book. The pre pre monster oh. manual monster book. That's the you know, the pre monster manual two book. So the it's here and all that's in. Yeah. But it's not actually in the adventure, it's just in the booklet. It's in that second booklet. Yeah. Which is cool well, for its time. It's Cause well, it, it was a way to get it out before they published the Monster Manual 2, right? <coughs> there are some monsters in there that are in, like Bahir. I wonder if they're in the Wandering Encounters. I don't think so. I, 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 but that's where Demi Lich is. That's a, it's before the Monster Manual 2 publication. Yeah. Or it's right at. Yeah, it's Priest Paladin Lich. Jeez. And Ravenloft? No. We're talking about liches of Grendel. Uh, 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 <laughs> Maybe. Oh no! Don't tell me Lord Soth is the one you're talking about, please. No, no. He's not a lich. Is he a lich? He's a death knight. He's a death knight. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Here's Ron. Oh, okay. Here's Ron Guan. I had this one here, so I, um, I found, yes. This Look at all the references here. City of Splendor. Oh, this is, no wonder. Was this was this one of yours, um, Eric? Uh, oh, this is uh, Jersey Dorian guy. Oh, this is just Forgotten Realms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, I, that's why I, I saw this on one of your posts. <clears throat> look, see, look at how, this is what's crazy. Look at how detailed Eric is with every reference on the right side. This, would, I, my head, my eyeballs would pop out. I mean, you know your stuff mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, where are all these uh, mentions are. So, yes. So, really neat that uh, this example of. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, um, this is a, an example um, uh, that he that he made for me uh, uh, as far as, and look, we got stuff from Dragon Two Twenty Eight, um, just all over the place. Lands of Intrigue, 
really a great yeah you reference everything and this is this is the way to do it i mean if you're going to create new lore like gary's is very detailed as well you want to reference where some of your stuff comes from and look he's mm -hmm. got comments all the way down here it's painfully true yeah george you're absolutely correct i mean <sighs> and that's a great point here. josh that's Josh says vampires are greater than liches. He's just doing that just to put Greyhawk. Well, uh, he triggered me. So, uh, Greyhawk is all about the liches. If you want vampires, play World of Darkness. Right. And by the way, Drells is not a kick ass samurai, samurai vampire. She's not a samurai. That's yeah. dumb. She's a fighter. She said, it's not samurai. It doesn't say samurai. It says fighter. Fighter vampire. Sorry. I had to. She should have weapon specialization too, but it was before that time frame. So Kelly Veron from Principal Dungeon ninety nine. Hmm. Yeah, it's a great thing that you reference everything. It's fantastic. Kel Veron, right there. There you go. In the Duchy of Yulik. Mm -hmm. Huh. See, you have one at home. Uh, you yeah. need, then you need to go out and slay it. Yep. I don't know. Um, that must have been the one you were thinking of. You missed it. Yep. Dungeon 99. I don't think well, I Well, here's it. the thing. Uh, listen. <laughs> if you dig deep enough, there's probably a lich in every country in the world of Grail. Well, okay, yeah. I got 98. I got 98 and I don't have 99 to show. So, um, whoever, uh, who brought that up? The 99 one. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't have 99, the... so I can't I can't share it or to discuss it. Sorry. Oh, you yeah, don't. Not, not okay. Hang on a second. It's I, a dungeon. I can... Yeah, yeah. I can find it here somewhere. <coughs> I should. Yeah, we're talking about Zalen, uh, Grendel. Uh, Zalen is right from Ravenloft too. The adventure <coughs> to start. I showed it. It's really cool. Excuse me. I <laughs> have one of those coughing fits, allergies. <coughs> Digging uh, into. I am out. Uh, where are all my lozenges? You know what? No. I was say, I was beat someone. The Crypt of Kelviron. Yeah. Half a millennium ago, so 500 years ago. So that puts it around 100 or something like that. Yeah. Or a little bit earlier. High ranking mm -hmm. priest of Nero, whose cruelty and sadism were infamous in the lands around Ulek. He sacrificed thousands of innocent people to his dark lord before his fortress outside Haven Hill ooh, was besieged by paladins of Herodotus. Now we, that's a thing to put on the map here. So that's awesome. Yeah. Wow. So now I need to, we need to look into the map and see what huh. we have Haven Hill here. It's reference. Which, I would it's probably reference finish scary. reading about that, Anna. Maybe it don't exist anymore. <laughs> no, but it needs to be like a ruin oh, or a little a ruin, a, okay. a not notification that that it's yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna check something. It's just outside Haven Hill. It's really in your backyard, Jay. It's, well, it's, I'm gonna check it. I, 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 I'm. It says do. here it's. A fort, fortress outside Haven Hill. Mm -hmm. I didn't ever run it. Oh, Patrick's asking a metaphysical question. No. Oh. He's a god. Well, Vecna is a god. Mm. Jason had to have been a I. living person to... Who turned into a lich though before he became the boatman? Yeah. So I, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. It depends is... on it depends on you how you 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 look at stuff, so to speak. There's no rules for it. You just have to make up your own prehistory and 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 how things develop. Or yeah. according, well, according to Watchman too, he's somewhere. a demon. Yeah. Demon. However but, that works. But he's yeah. in Greek mythology. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So are, you, um, some of your gods are in the Finnish mythology. Yeah, I know, but they're not liches. That's what I'm saying is I don't I, I just don't see Sharon as a lich. I okay. don't uh, but yeah. that's okay. I know he's a boatman in the river sticks, but I just don't Yeah, I don't I don't really see him as a lich either. Yeah. But but close. So <clears throat> it's No, Grendel, the so, so lich I was talking about <coughs> was Marquesa Marine from uh Kingdom of the Ghouls from Wolfgang Bauer. That's a dungeon magazine adventure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Ooh, and man. there's fo follow ups from Cobalt Press, too. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to throw out real quick that there are two liches in. Look, uh, it's 5e, and I own it. I'm sorry. Ruins. Greg Ruins. What did you find, Jay? Empire of the Ghouls, 5e. One of the, a few. One of the, hmm. <laughs> I own it. Own Damn. Yep. Uh, so in the uh, Zagig Tower ruins in, Gre in the module Greg ruins, mm -hmm. there is a lich that is a former apprentice of Zagig, has no name, but he is down there and he's looking after things after his master has been gone all this time. And then if you go even deeper into the ruins, there's a demi lich. That was also, I think, uh, another apprentice, and he guards uh, one of Zagig's libraries. Oh. Unnamed. It's interesting that someone had made, made it to Demilich. They must have been a lich long before Zagig was around, because otherwise you'd probably not be a Demilich. Well, remember, there's the power, um, that, that, that almost that obelisk down there that gave Zagig a ton of power, right? So obviously okay. someone else was leeching off of it Ooh. at that yeah. point. Mm -hmm. um, that's cool, Lando. I mean, uh, that part of the ghouls was a great adventure. It was long. It was really detailed. Yeah. It was great. So, but, you know, like I said, they redid it in 5e, which is cool. So, I'm going to have to check out this Dungeon 99 adventure. Like I said, it's right, you're right. It's right in my area mm -hmm. wheelhouse. It's so. your backyard. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They always come in twos, Eric says. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So, let's just... Why don't we scan some of these that I have never, I, I don't know about. Or you, we all don't know about. Let's see, here's Marine. Mikali. Mikba. Don't know any either of them. Murtari failed lich. That's interesting. Oh, there. Well, right failed, in the Asim Which means he's not a lich. Yes. He failed. <laughs> <laughs> he's a lich candidate. Nar here's another one to Bright Desert. Narsty. Another one. There's several in the bright desert. Hmm. You, hmm. Yeah. Oh wow. Hemilichus. Yep. <laughs> no, he's not. No, he's not. Oh, there he is. Wow. He's in the Aber Aberals. See, it's flashing right here. That's mm -hmm. the Aberals. Huh. Narcine, yeah. No, no references to Narcine, so we don't know where it comes from. Yeah, no see if I can get any, any, uh, any hints yeah. from Narcine. Uh, I don't know. And uh, yeah, we're talking in the Aberals, right near, like right near a whole bunch of stuff. So, are they soul liches in the bright? I don't think they are at all. Uh, the so. Earth Journal Eleven. That's where I get a hit. So oh. Narcine is from OJ Eleven. Okay. Well, someone's article. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to open it and see if cool. I can find out where. We talked about him. Here's one nine that didn't show up. Uh, Kenneth Newquist, uh, the Crystal Skulls of Nero. Uh, hmm. Worth Journal 11. Yeah. How many oh, are from him? Oh, it's only fragments of these skulls. Most notably, slivers of the emerald skull of Narcine. So it's all remnants. It's not living there. It's remnants of a skull that belonged to a lich, apparently. Okay, so, so it's more of it... these old nasty fland liches, I bet. Huh. Yeah. In those areas. So, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. They seem to be everywhere, so that's why I have my theories on the land liches. Yep. <laughs> the unnamed Tillerop. Oh, didn't pop up at all either. Velen. Vecna of the main Vecna, the main mm -hmm. lord of Kavita. I guess it's the same Vecna. You're in the weeds now, Jay. Yeah. I know, I know. I'm trying, yep. I'm trying to weed yeah. here. We have another one in, in, in the uh, Wow, look at this one's in the water. Has Balabar. Balbar, yeah, Has Balbar, Balbar. It's in in the uh, Aburals as well. Not showing on. Oh, there it is, Has yeah. Balbar. Yeah. 
COG uh, or City of Greyhawk box set. I don't know what ATG is. Uh, there should... one of those adventure cards. Yeah, it should be, yeah, adventure card something. Yeah, card and number 10. So card number 10. There's a lich in one of those. Mm -hmm, apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't Unique know what the effects. ATG is. Is an ATG 69? I don't know what ATG is. So, yeah. That's the thing. There should the be a, a key to, to the Zavoda index of what all these abbreviations are somewhere. Yes, Vecna is somehow the main enemy in Stranger Things season four. We'll see if they do anything with his hand and eye. That will be. Ooh. If they don't, I'm going to riot. <laughs> that means Joe Manganiello is going to show up when he's five years old then in the adventure because he has it already. No, maybe. I don't know. So, um, what is a hemi lich, Eric Boyd? I don't know. You said from Hubbard. That's, a, that's a, a, a demi lich that did, or a lich that didn't make it. So, oh, hemi lich. Okay. Instead of a demi lich, it's a hemi lich. Yeah. No. Why are you saying no there? I made a joke. Oh. Yeah. Semi liches. <laughs> uh, semi liches from. Uh. Yep, a semi lich uh. from. Yeah. Earth Journal also has Tillerop. Well, Tillerop is on this lich too. List, uh, list, yeah. list, me, list two. Oh yeah, and anyone knows anything about Tillerop? I'm, I'm there it is. Of... Yeah, he's on the. There he is. Wow, he's in the. Uh, he's in the sea of dust. That's all right. Tillerop. Yeah. Winding down. Yeah, Earth Journal Eleven seems to be a good one. Let me see what else I got here. Let's see if I can find Tillerop is in uh, Earth General 11 as well. Yep. So way and out in the middle Tillerop is also mentioned in uh, some um, um, Living Greyhawk adventures. And it's mentioned in OJ1. Oh, cool. Uh, to answer your question, Patrick, the hand of Vecna can scratch your back. <laughs> yeah. but good back scratcher. Yep. Yeah. Oh man. The Lich Roz and oh, Castle Greyhawk. George. Shots fired. Is oh. that is that the Castle Greyhawk WG seven? Or is that in is it in Greyhawk Ruins? It's not Greyhawk Ruins. It's in it's in it's in WG seven. Probably. Yes. <laughs> That's funny, Hammy Lich and the Mopar. Who lands from the parallel mental plane of magma, <laughs> the inner planes by Monty Cook? Interesting. Hmm. Uh, well, it does say in that article that some fled to other planes, so that, that makes total sense. No one will look for him there. No, definitely not. I wouldn't look for him there. Vecna went to the plane of uh, Ash, I believe it is, right? Or... Yeah. Yeah, Caesar, we did Dalver, yeah. absolutely. We didn't miss him. We didn't miss him at all. What's this one in the water out here? Cilia? Or is that an island? Up here. That's the, the um, um, a, um, a cilla, like, oh, hang on a second here. It's the, the uh, pinnacles of Asur Al. Oh, okay. That's, yeah. Well, that's, yeah. that's mm -hmm. in Grouch Adventures. Yep. Oh, very cool. Hmm. Okay. I didn't realize that's where it was. See, I don't know everything. Rexifer. Did we do that one? Yeah. All right, they're going. I'm just making sure there's a lot in here that some of them aren't popping up and some, um, this nine is not popping up, whoever that is. Anyone know who nine is? No. Oh, nine. Mikba is showing up. There's Mikba right here. Okay, so nine is in Die Vecna Die. Okay. Uh, and is the general of an undead army. Okay. And that's about all I know. All right. So that is another. Wow, there's a lot of undead in this thing. Lots and lots of undead. And other nasties. Yeah. Well. Slides. Ton of slide in here, too. Hmm. Okay. And Vecna's in here. Breaking his avatar. Yep. Uh, there's Cambian. Oh, all right. So you got a lot of oh, super nasties and die back and I die. 
Yes, the the queen of the lich, uh, the Githyanki, I think it's Zerai, right? Is is a, is a, a queen. She's a lich queen. Absolutely. What's up, David? Good to see you. So, um, yeah, talking lich. So, who has more liches, Greyhawk or Forgotten Realms? Yes, Eric, Greyhawk or Forgotten Realms. I'm asking it. Yes, good question. Lich Queen is in Dungeon ninety two. Is, is that Fight of Fensor? No, that was a Dragon Adventure. Realms by far. Dang. <laughs> so if we put up our list that we just went through today, we could well, compare that on realms. Well, realms are bigger geographically. Oh my god, so Lorlock places, has, I think. Lorlock has sixty servitor liches alone. Oh my god. See, that, there but, you go. But they're like animuses, aren't they? The servitor liches. Lorlock, sixty servitor liches. I mean, because you know. Uh, the animus is okay. are all over the place. See, real liches. Who's this to... one? I can't see hmm. it. Uh, uh, here's another one. Angrin Eris Lich of Glendower. And that's showing up on here. Way up here. North of Lake Quag. Huh. That's a uh, Blackmore. That's a Blackmore Lich. It should, we're actually, that's funny. Lots of liches in there. Well, it's a Blackmore lich as well. Okay. Drakus. We did that one. Just seeing if I missed any. Do we do Crassius? Do we do Crassius? We have yeah. Lyric. I, I need to study I... him more. Yeah, Lyric, Lyric's not statted. He's in the Vesvi. I, 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 yeah. Let mm -hmm. me go. No, I'm, I'm I'm more interested in the backstories than the stat box. Not to mention a score or so bale horn good elven liches beneath yeah. Mithdranner. Interesting. I, I want yeah. them, but yeah. I want the, the ones with the backstories. Yeah, yeah. stat box you can get uh, them dynamite with. drop in. Nice. Crypt keeper is a crypt keeper, right? Yes, or a crypt thing, which is a, crypt it's thing. a monster. That's fine. That's fine, Matt. Crypt thing. thing. Yeah. Astrax. There's another one I don't... Oh, there it is. Astrax is appearing in South Province. Anyone know about Astrax? How many Sul Liches are working looking about? There's not that many, David. Couple? Well, they seem... To, since they won't they need fresh bodies to inhabit, otherwise they perish. That means that they don't have the... the... I heard 60 of them went to work for Larlock and Forgotten Realms. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so soul liches don't seem to have as much staying power as the regular old liches. Yeah. They kind of burn out quickly. So there we go. There's the discords if anyone wants to join. So anyone know about Astrax here? South Province appears. No. Okay. No. Do we miss any from your article, Mike? From my article? Yeah. Uh, just Thessalar, who is from the Age of Worms my, uh, adventure path. Oh, cool. He lives, he lives in the Rift Canyon. He's the one who created the Thessal monsters. With T-H, is that how he spells his name? Yeah. It's not on yeah. the list. Thessal. He's not, he's Thessal. Not, what's that? He's not on there? He's not uh -huh. on there? T-H. Well, then the... that's, wow. that's, that's an a, oversight. That's a big mess. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Soul Lich is in Lona Car. All right. Well, that's Lona Car is the uh, Soul City that's still around in the far west of uh, you know, the Sea of Dust. Very cool. Thessalar. Yeah, not not mm -hmm. on here. So, hey, thanks, Zytek. Two years, man. Wow. Yep. Not in the list. Interesting. Uh -huh. Zytek. There's a lich in Order of the Stick comic named Zykon. Oh, really? Yeah. That's cool. Astarax is OJ7. Huh. Okay. Earth Journal 7 he's in. Yeah. Should have known Earth Journal was hiding a few of them. It is, definitely. A lot of them. We pulled out a lot of the, uh, you know, we pulled out the main Le Vecna, Azalean, Asarek, Leric, Lysandrid, uh, Asperdes from the old, old uh, uh, publications, you know, really the first generation of publications, um, which is cool. The Halfling Lich did it. 
Patrick is is going there like Josh would be now. I, I doubt it. I have like, yeah, that's funny. I don't know of any. Josh Lich. All right. So publications. Majority of liches are human. Uh, maybe oh, elf oh. here and there. Does anyone know of a dwarf, gnome, or halfling lich anywhere? I'm asking. No, I, I looked. I didn't. And I think one of the reasons is that they are not in, in inclined to magic as much. That's one of the reasons. They're, they're less wizardly and, and, and they can, the priests and clerics can be, well, priests can be, you can go there that way too. But so, so I think that's one of the reasons. They're not prone to evil as much as humans. That might be another reason. And, and then they live longer. That's another reason why we see less of them, I think, because he's like being a lich. One of the prime motivators to be a lich is to get over your own mortality and, and live forever, so to speak. So long lived races might be, people might be less inclined to go to kill themselves to live forever. So, Eric Boyd, there's a dwarf lich in Undermountain. Oh, okay. Uh, Big Mac says Sharingar from the city of Blackmore is my favorite arch lich. Okay. Halfling and Lieber Mortis Goblin too. Uh, really? There you go in Lieber Mortis book. You have a halfling and a, and a goblin lich. I don't know about that. Um, wow. Yep. Number five is Angris Eric Lich of Glendor. All right, so there, he's in number five. All right, there's another one that we didn't know. There's a lot of Earth Journal Liches, a lot. So that is this one here. That one, way up in Blackmore. Yep. Banderi, Priest of Dumathion. God, that's Keeper of Secrets. So there you go. Wow. So we have it. Forgotten Realms has a dwarf lich. That's great. Wait a minute. So there's a Greyhawk dwarf lich. You're saying you're saying Grelnar. I don't see him on here. Where's that from, Amy? Sharingar is from SJR One Lost Ships and is created by Ed Greenwood. Oh, okay. Oh, living gray. A half drow well, wizard. I can see. I can see drow being liches. I can. That's where I get off. This ride is living gray. Oh, he's it's... a living gray hawk <laughs> lich. Oh, <laughs> we'll, no. we'll be here all night. We we mean, that's a second tier lich. You're not a real lich. You're just an I, LG I just lich. Think, you know, we've already hit the bottom of the barrel, and now we want to dive into living gray hawk. Yeah, <laughs> that that's like some. Some class of liches, yeah. Because everything, yeah, because we know what happened in Living Gray. Oh yeah, they just introduced everyone dies everywhere. except for the bad, except except all the bad guys. Balenors are elf liches from Mythdrenner. Okay. <laughs> now, now we're being being kind of we're being kind of silly now, but that's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah. You know, which see, I went through this list and no one said anything, but I'm going to do it to myself. Are you ready? Dun, dun, mm -hmm. dun, dun, dun. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. I did it to myself. Oh, I'm going to click on this right here. Uh, what is that? There we go. Smack dab in the middle of the whole world. So painful. So freaking painful. There you go, Josh. Where you go, Josh. Prince Thrommel. Somehow becomes a vampire. Oh my god. Because someone overlooked the, someone doesn't read, can't couldn't the read. Right, yeah, who can't read that it was an illusion. Yeah. So yeah. nice. All right. So look at that. We're at 945 anyway. This is uh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. So yeah. look, we I'm went over a lot. Out. We, we went over a lot of liches. Um apparently there's a dwarf lich somewhere in Living Greyhawk. We know there's one in Forgotten Realms. Hey, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. You know, and like I said, this is this is the Drow Goddess Council is a uh, carrying sail. I don't know that go Drow God is that a Forgotten Realms Drow Goddess because I don't. It's not a Greyhawk one. Yeah. 
Illithids become liches a lot? I've never seen it. I've never read yeah, about an Illithid there lich. Are I, got, I can imagine, so. Liches, yeah. <clears throat> Under that two was... hours? Nah, with, with shout-outs and all, we'll go over two hours. Yeah. If Yeah, it's it's canon in your game, Amy, sure. No, yeah. I, I was listing it when I wrote that today about liches, uh, some thoughts about it. I was thinking what other type of creatures will become liches. And and, and one of the ones that I pointed mm. out as a possibility was the aboleths. They are smart, intelligent, evil, and no magic. So so um, if, if those are, are the kind of the ingredients to be a, a lich, then I think the aboleth will come high. I was thinking, are they aquatic liches of uh, aquatic Thanks. creatures and i was thinking the Maybe. aboleth kind of fits the bill in a lot of ways they they no. they, they have most of the ingredients to to become lich meaning they know magic they're high, highly intelligent they're evil and and stuff so so that to me was like there's definitely the possibility of an aboleth lich then well there's a goodman games adventure old school mm -hmm. with a, uh, i forget the name which number it is it's an early number one of their ones when they did those uh, first edition ones um First, second, third edition. Uh, it's, there's an undead aboleth super powerful in it. It's not a lich, but it's, it's stated as an undead aboleth, but it's pretty damn close. So, are there any female liches? Yeah, absolutely. We just went over Marquesa Marinade. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, sure. Yep. Definitely. Michael Alhoun is from what uh, publication? Oh, that's front realm stuff, man. Yeah, my ex. That's funny. Ah, mm -hmm. that's a good one. No, not a hag, a lich. That's not right. So, um, hmm. yeah, lich was in. Yeah, lich is uh, Persian, I believe. Right? We, someone said that over. Sharon Guard's female. There's a there's there's, okay. there's free, yeah. There's a film that fair number. That's more than I knew. Okay, yeah. but that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Cool. So um hopefully you got some fun out of this one. Uh we did some named liches. Maybe we'll do this down the road for vampires, except for one notable one, which I can't. But um went over a lot. Note uh Oh, sure. Look, without sponsors and assistance from the community, um, we don't, you know, we don't have, we don't do as many. And like I said, I apologize. Trolley Games is behind on stuff. Um, they sh they're supposed to be streaming tonight, but I don't see them on. I got to find out from Chuck if he's on before I try and raid. Hmm. I don't see him on. I thought for sure he was, he was running tonight. So uh, as we do shout outs, I'll ask. No, if I I should make an entire episode based on Thrommel? I uh, no, as it, maybe as a joke. Yeah. Oh my god, can you imagine? Oh my gosh, that would be crazy. Karen sells one of yours from Demi Human Deities. That's a great book. So there's a lot. Of, yeah, it's a fantastic book. So, Dragon 185, Morning Cannon stared, Man Flare Liches, Elements were nodded. Call them Illithiches. Mind Flayer Liches. There's another yeah, one that yeah. I think is kind of obvious. Yeah. Is that from a Wizards 3 discussion? I have news on that. Oh. I have some news, okay, on that. If that's That sounds like a Wizards 3 discussion. All right, well, we'll get to that in shout out. So hang in there, Eric. I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a, some updates on that. Um, so, uh, Mike, what is going on? We'll do some shout outs now. And, uh... Well, we got through that one. Yeah, it was good. Uh, <clears throat> anyhow. I had fun. Uh, yeah, I'm glad everyone enjoyed that and threw out some lore. Uh, and helped us. Oh, yeah. We, we that, did help. Uh, I did not think we would get through every lich we did in almost. D &D history. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we got through a lot of them. Yeah, it was great. Anyhow, uh, for a uh, palate cleanser, Head over to Greyhawkery. I have a new article up. It's a uh, custom 5e creature that I whipped up. So enjoy. 
Nice. Oh, that is a good one. I'm sure it's been done before, but uh, oh. it's new to me. Um, otherwise, uh, if you're in for if you want some uh, real lore, though, head over to Greyhawk Musings. David Leonard has a really good article on the Archmage Dramage that uh, is quite excellent. Awesome. Let me link uh, David's too. So that's cool, man. Otherwise, nice. Uh, I look forward to the next uh, next week's topic, which I don't know if we got. No, not yet. But five five this week has really uh, uh, sapped my brain of all mental capability for the most part. But just one of five is is getting completed here. But you know, we'll be uh, we'll be rocking and rolling here um, once we go over everything. Uh, any other games or anything going on, Mike? Well, I'm in uh, Rich's um, Rich's game. We're kind of between stuff right now, and cool. uh, still in Nera's band down in the south. Uh, otherwise, trying to get back with my monthly game. We're uh, trying to hit up some Frost Giants, the old uh, Frost Giant Yarl module. That'd That's be, always good. Uh, fun. But uh, that's about it. Don't fall into the crater in the glacier, or uh, you're 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 just dead instantly, right? Because what? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Well, that's one of the nastiest monsters of all time. The polar, yeah, right. The Remoraz. Oh my gosh. So that is a nasty, nasty monster. All right. So it looks like we lost a follower during this whole thing. I mean, probably someone who signed up and then jumped right off. We need 20 more to get to that, to that 8,000, 20 more. You magic jarred his body. That's cool. Yes. He's turning everyone into a soul lich. So, um, Josh is not a lich. Josh is, uh, the walking dead. He is. So, so Mike, thanks a lot for getting us this topic. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Followers, I need 20 followers to get us to 8,000 so we give away a Best of Dragon Volume 3 again. So get, cross that 8,000 goal. Yep. So, Anna, what is up? It's um, a lot of things, but not that much that has been visible yet. But first, I need to to uh, thank everyone for, for joining my Patreon. We're up to 339 patrons. Nice. So that's the highest number I've ever had. So so, And I feel a little bit guilty because I haven't posted that much the last couple of weeks because there have been a lot of real life issues and, and, and a bunch of other stuff. But there is a bunch more coming. Today, just prior to this, I jotted down some, some ideas and stuff getting liches in my campaign mm -hmm. and and you know me i'm not much of a module person so i want to know what are the roles of liches and their political historical significance and stuff like that so there's some theories on 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 everything from old li lich witch kings and uh, flan lich witch kings and and stuff like that so 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 that i will take ideas from and and so, so that was I, I will, for my uh, middle tier patrons that 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 is basically the Meyerhawk campaign, so to speak, my own campaign that I will add stuff. So I will I will put up ideas and, and things that I'm thinking of my own campaign. So I will keep keep putting them there. They're not that well underbuilt, so to speak. It's more like flying by the seat of my pants. When I have ideas and stuff, I will chop them out there and put them and then you can just cherry pick stuff where you went from, so to speak. I ran a session this Sunday in my campaign. So we were fighting trolls in the Dragon Hide caves like crazy. So that was a lot of fun for some hours to fight trolls. And, and then I will, I have a new batch of heraldry coming. So I, uh, that will be for, uh, Ner the city of Neural have gotten upgrade and, and a bunch of, of other places there have, and have been, I'm in the mid, uh, mid the letter, around the letter K, but especially the city of Neural was, and that was heraldry. I didn't, just like with some of the other heraldry, I didn't, LG especially, I didn't like at all. Now when I look at it and, and, and revise it a bit, I think it's kind of cool because it, it has some roots. So I'm going to write an article, what I think, how that heraldry actually came about, which I think can be kind of a, a cool little history that people can, can use as a backdrop for Neural if they want to. So, so, so there's nice. like 20, 20 or so shields coming and, and wow. very soon. 
and and there's more coming so i'm working on that i've also uh, rejigged my my computer setup so i'm ready to start uh, testing out uh, streaming Nice. So, so that is coming. I'm going to to hopefully tomorrow do some some uh, test streaming. So, if you see me pop up on on Twitch or YouTube just doing it, you should know it's just the test thing. So, I, I will label them test and then run them for 10, 20 minutes or half an hour or something just to see if it works, and and do some stuff. So that is coming. But there will be no formal streaming this week, no matter what, because we have the 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 fantasy mapping show on Friday. So, but next week I hope that I can start doing some some real streaming. And then I'm also getting into the um, setting up uh, Gaia has come out with a new version. So there that has basically all the goodies that I can dream of. So that will be a look to get into. So that might be mapping streaming of me doodling around in it to see if we can get it to do something useful, so to speak. So or maybe I'll, I'll have to doodle with it first a little bit. And then if there is something useful coming out of it, that will be something. So that will also tie into the Altimira project because I will do some doodling in the next couple of weeks to decide if I'm going to go World Machine or if we're going to go Gaia to do the the maps for for Altimira. We'll see which which one to to go with. So that will be the a couple. I will spend if like a couple hours a day for the next two weeks trying to figure out which way to go and do some tests and stuff because I know World Machine what I can do and I want to see if if Gaia can actually beat that and, and be the better one. There are already some things that Gaia is better. I want to see if there is some some hidden caveats in it that that doesn't work properly. And then the the um, there is the cover, the legend, the uh, and all that stuff for the 576 Atlas, the 2022 Atlas are done. So they are coming. So it's only the index that is left to do uh, when it comes to that. So I'm going to reach out to Dwayne again and see if we can get the, the, uh, the index going. So I will start working on the 598 map this week as well. So there will be work on that one done so we can start getting the, the 598 map out the door by end of, uh, at least by end of May. I hope that, that we can have the 598 map done. So that one can get the update that it will be. And then there will be some, some, uh, some other extra heraldry for my own campaign too come in. So, so that's, yeah, those are the, the, the big things, but I hope that there'll be some, some streaming coming again soon because it was kind of popular. I had 20, 30 people and, and they were really, they really be nagging me if, that they want to see more. And also the $50 tier is coming up within, if I will announce the details and stuff in a couple of weeks when, when I have, when I have a more firm plan on the 598 maps, because I want, it's either the 576 or the 598 maps. You can pick and choose either, but I want both of them to be, to be ready when I launch the $50 tier, so to speak. And we'll see how many I will launch. So if you're interested in that, I will have a first kind of little preview and, and to, tell the details and then that will tell the overview of, of the idea around it. And then there will be more details coming in in a few weeks and people can can kind of sign up if you want to interested in have your own custom version of the map. Very that cool. Was, but it, yeah, um, yeah. We can talk about the fantasy mapping show when you get to it, so yeah. Yes, which will be coming up. So here we go. Uh, I had the right button. Yeah. All right, tomorrow night we continue with a venture and I discussed, I kind of gave away some, some tidbits on it that, you know, we got these Sewell, albino Sewell, ancient elven hybrids running around. And uh, the leader of them is, um, and oh, I wish Rich was on. Because I got a bust on Rich. Um, her name, Lady Brezza. Uh oh. Instead of Brit, you know. I was Bresin, going to say, is that Brezza? Oh. <laughs> I just did, I did that on purpose just to be a buster. That's what Thank I was thinking. That, that yes. is kind of, yeah. Yes, I did that on purpose. Lord Bresson's sister or wife. Yeah, or well, she's half <laughs> elven, half, half albino school, oh, okay. whatever, and she's searching for uh, ways to become a school lich. B R E Z Z A. Yeah, I I just went there. I just why not? So and, and the main character. So uh, yeah, uh, and uh, but I don't think well, they're they're not going to get to her um, until um, uh, the week after next. So it'll be a three weeker. So thanks, Patrick. Um, wow, we got a hype train. Nice. 
First one of the night. So uh, that mm -hmm. is uh, tomorrow night. And Infinite Dimensions giveaways, really great uh, way to see the STLs. Brand new. They're beautiful for the giveaway. Plus, we'll have a Reaper. A couple of minis for Reaper. The next night is the Fantasy Mapping Show. Now, remember, Anna, you and the, I don't have any uh, things yet. Remember, I, I made No, that, that's there. the okay. thing. And, but I will do so I can share my screen and, okay. and stuff if we have okay. it. So, so that way you don't have to worry about that All part. right, cool. So, so yeah. We'll do we'll see. see. We can do and that. And it's making plans. So I want to discuss how to go about a project. If you want to map something, what kind of research, what should you think about, and stuff like that. The non-technical bits of mapping, so to speak, meaning how to go about thinking of, of of, of making map that will be something and then i will use some of the examples of stuff that i'm working on how to how to go about thinking of 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 what what should you research how should you look at things what information do you want to have what kind of things do you have to make up and and think about pitfalls that are non-technical pitfalls more kind of stylistic ideas of what to think of so that that's one of the things and i bet Alyssa has a whole bunch of stuff that she Good. has to to, to go through as well. Because please note that night with all, I'm going to have two hours sleep from the day before. I'm going to be brain dead on Friday uh -oh. night. And I'll be like, uh, well, as long as you can keep the stream. Oh, yeah. I, I can. can, can <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be, uh, that is uh, Friday night. And the, if we continue, stream number four, um, the ever mysterious Tim is back. So this is Saturday morning, 9 a.m. The, it is the tale of Rattlebones, which is, um, William Henry Dvorak's character, what happened to him. Uh, and Tim tells me he has a lot of other people playing with red shirts on, like in Star Trek. So he has other outside characters. So uh, a lot of death, death and destruction will be coming uh, as we have an ever mysterious Tim game Saturday morning. Uh, that, of course, he's dangerous and, and not all there. So, you know, but that's... Uh... And then, to finish it up, number five, we have... a. Gavin, the Lord Peak Saving, DMs Roundtable number 11. Okay, Ooh. so we finally do have this. Uh, it's on, on content creation, plus some general Q&A. April Hill, who played and DMs a lot of different uh, games, will be on Sunday. Um, who she played last Saturday and uh, in that great group, the new recruits, but she'll be back because I haven't had her on. And William Henry Dvorak makes his return as well, and he's already confirmed. More guests. I have a I have a request out to a big name person. They haven't responded mm -hmm. yet, but I have a feeling they're going to be on. Oh. So uh, that's why I put more guests right in the middle. So yes, but we will have at least we'll have at least three guests, including Anne and me. So for this, I want to keep it to three so we can get some good good questions. And so come with your questions, but we're going to talk about how you create content as a DM. That'll be the main topic, but we'll we'll course branch off from there and that'll finish up the week this i don't have a banner for i'm t putting it in there we just confirmed our next uh, saturday night special as, as far as i'm aware um will be may will be thank you for the follow we're getting closer and closer to eight thousand. yes yeah. um thank you uh will be um no i just i flip i flip between screens that, that was me nope we're still going i have no drops or anything like that so um Ed Greenwood, uh, Anna, Tony, Winslow Brill, Eric Boyd, Eric um, Mengi, two drink minimum. Plus, we're going to get a, I'm attempting to get a special guest. We'll have a, we'll have a six player. Um, for uh, And that'll be Saturday, May 21st at 6 p.m. That'll be the next one. So it's only three weeks away. And that's earlier than I thought. We are shooting for in June, but then th that date was open for everyone, and it, it worked. So that's as far out as I've gone. Um, uh, one other thing. The big, the big gabbin of all gabbins that Ed talked about Sunday is the Wizards 3 discussion. I have two-thirds of it locked up. All right? So we have Ed. We have someone. I'm not going to mention who it is. For Greyhawk locked in. I'm working on the Dragonlance end. All right? I'm trying to get the Dragonlance it person It might there. happen. It might, might happen. Yes. Yep. Yes. So it may, the Wizards 3... Yes, it may actually happen. Two-thirds of it are locked in. So we just need to get the Dragonlance person. I'm working on it. So um, note that would be wonderful. So no comment there, Gatano. So um, it'd be yeah, it would be really a fun time. So that's all that we have. Let's do the giveaway. I will mail these out. Continental U.S., please. There you go. Pretty Two pretty good ones. 
This one is second edition. Who wrote this? T Steve Winner. Oh. Okay. And what evil lurks is cool. This is uh, Lance Hovermail. This is a cool one too. From you know, so we got some some nice ones here. All right. Here we go. I don't know who Dragon Helm is. Who get Dragon Helm on? Who's that? I don't know who that is. Should I know who that is? Dragon Helm's a dragon enhancer. I'm working. Yes, we don't. We're yes. I, I'm working on uh, pretty much someone who's an expert. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> let's hope, right? Let's let's truly hope. So, doing my best here to uh, get that person in all right here we go closing this out winner okay hmm. mac big mac but mac oh. i gotta I can't, oh, mac I, might, I said continental us <laughs> I said continental U.S. Mac. Yeah. I can't. Uh, yes, I said continental U.S. I'm not, I can't spend thirty dollars to ship these two things. I, I can't. Can't do it. So yes, can't. You have to, you have to give him code of some sort. Some, yeah. Well, some I don't. Kind. I don't have Whatever. any codes right now. Uh -oh. So yes, yep. yes. I can't. I can't. I can't ship. I can't ship things that are fifteen dollars for thirty bucks. It makes no sense. So we'll have to figure something else out, Mac. All right. We'll figure something else out. Um, so uh, I'll work on that. Yeah, it's all right, man. So um, I'll figure something out with you. All right. So let's um, let's raid into Will. All right. We'll raid into Will, and we will um, um, call it a night. And I'll see you tomorrow night, normal game, and then Saturday night for I'm sorry, Friday night for the uh, fancy mapping show coming up. All right. Very good. Awesome. Everyone have a great night. We'll Thanks, see everybody. You. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Thank you for a great show, as always. Uh, hit the wrong button here. Hit the wrong button. Hit the wrong button. Uh, hit the right button. All right. There you go. Yep. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Right into Wicked. Yeah. Remember, Will's... Will's... Um, Will's... Kickstarter's still going, man, for uh, for Raven's Rock, please. Uh, well, we'll talk about that again on Sunday night, too. All right. He's almost to funding level now. Only a few hundred bucks. Five, four, three, two, one. See you tomorrow night. You have a good one. Make sure the raid works. Looks like it. Yep. 72. Dave, I don't understand.